Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome back to Twofold Tuesday and for some reason I'm leaning to the side. Give me a second. I'm... This is not right. Why am I leaning? Okay, that's better. That's better, I think. Maybe. I'm, I'm still kind of leaning to the side. I, I... <laughs> I love I'm just instantly bombarded with hearts as soon as you could see me on the screen. Hi! Hello everybody, happy Yuri Day! Welcome, welcome, it's Yuri Day! Uh, it's, um... June 25th is, is Yuri Day, apparently. And... 
it's it's still actually the 25th in Japan too right now, so I made it. I don't know why I'm leaning. I'm gonna blame the fact that I'm I'm sitting weirdly because I've I've tried to figure out a way where I can point my fan towards myself in a way where it doesn't get picked up by my mic. And it's very difficult. It has not been an easy task. But for some reason, I'm now leaning to the side and I don't know why that is. Okay. Okay, how's this? Okay, I think I fixed it. I think that's better. <laughs> but hello everybody, welcome. Welcome on in to Twofold Tuesday and Yuri Day. Happy Yuri Day. I, I love that it worked out on a Tuesday. I was like, if it had ended up being like Yuri Day on a Wednesday, I probably would have had to like squeeze another stream in this week. But as it is, uh, tomorrow is going to be the hottest day this week, apparently. So when I was looking at the, the weather forecast, trying to decide whether I should stream on Wednesday this week, I chose not to because it's going to be the warmest day and I'm already a melted blob on the floor who cannot function. But hello! Glad everyone could make it. Before I start, I am going to take advantage of that hydrate redeem. Thank you very much, Akire. Let me start. As I mean to go on. Oh, I've got the wrong monster on the screen. I've got the Rosa today. I've got the Ultra Rosa. Oh, see, when I've been doing this, I've been mostly drinking the Ultra Rosa, and I guess that's, like, kind of reddish? It's kind of reddish. Right? It's, it's like, red... It's, it's the reddest one that I drink, I think. So when I do the Caprice route, I'm going to have to get a bunch of the mango ones in. Because we've got the red and blue <laughs> coloration. I've got to get, the, I've gotta get the, the Fiesta ones in for when I do Caprice's route. <laughs> but I have my Rosa. And the can is so nice and cool. It is, it is so nice. I'm like holding the can against my forehead right now. Like... <laughs> I realize it's going to warm the drink up, but I, I simply do not care at the moment. Just holding this can against my forehead is so nice. Ah. Anyway, it's extremely warm. It's very, very warm at the moment. The, the UK's having a heat wave, and I'm... Like, I'm, I'm really bad with heat, even when it's just, like, regular heat. Like, I'm, I just don't function whenever I start getting a slight bit warm. So when it gets really warm, I am just completely useless. <laughs> but I still wanted to stream today. I really wanted to stream for Twofold Tuesday because I'm so close to finishing Millie's route and I really want to. Oh my, oh my goodness, Bath! Wait, thank you. Thank you, Bath. Thank you for the fiesta. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I that uh, I I guess that answers that then. I guess I will have to. But uh let me go through Bob. Hello. Congratulations on the first. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the the pre-stream headpads. Uh Rika, hello. Thank you for the lurk too. I I really hope the travel goes well. Wishing you the best. It I would not want to be driving for hours like this like I'll keep you with my thoughts. I hope the I hope the journey goes well. But I'm I I I can't get over how it just suddenly got so warm though. It it was like it was reasonable weather. And then just out of nowhere it's like, okay, this is now non-functioning heat. Here you go. <laughs> nice little present. It's like, oh, longest day of the year. It's time time to bring in the heat wave, I guess. Ha. Huh. Also, Akire, thank you for the, the sound alerts. Welcome on in. And thank you for the hydrate as well. Definitely, definitely needed at the moment. I need to remember to hydrate frequently when the weather's this warm. I've, I've got a bottle of water. I've got a little can of lemonade. I've got a little can of monster, a big, bigger can of monster. I also have my warm drink as well. I don't think I'm gonna be drinking warm drinks today, but I did make my flask just in case. I, I, I feel like I'm not going to be drinking that, though. I think it's going to be the, the water, mostly. <laughs> the only time I can drink water on its own is when it's super hot. 
The rest of the time, like, I really struggle to just drink water on its own. But if it's really warm and I'm feeling thirsty, I can just, like, drink a whole bottle, so... I have just water. <laughs> right, where was I? Suzume, hello! Welcome, welcome! Happy Yuri Day! Women, perhaps. Maybe even lesbians. Maybe. Maybe. I love I love all the, the keywords to drop the hearts on my head happening in the starting screen where you can't see it, but I could feel it. They are all still very much landing on my head and you could still hear it. <laughs> so good. Uh, Mari, hello, welcome, welcome. I'm I'm ready to finish Millie's route. Are you are you excited? I'm I'm so excited for it. I'm a little bit terrified. I'm extremely nervous for Caprice's sake. But I'm really excited. I'm really excited to finish this route. And Caps as well, hello! You made it! Although, you say you just barely made it, but you, you know how long I just waffle on at the beginning. You don't have to worry about being late, I don't think. <laughs> like, just, just me sat here for ten minutes going, Did I mention I'm really warm today? <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, I, I really, I do so badly in heat. I really, I, I much prefer when it's cold. I feel like at least when it's cold, it's it's easier to bundle up and add layers. But when it's warm, like there's there's only so many layers you can take off. Like, <laughs> like I'm here in like the loosest t-shirt and shorts that I can at the moment, and I'm still melting. And that's with with the fan like slightly pointed towards me too. We will see how things go. If things get really bad, I may have to turn up the fan. At which point, I know you will be able to hear it in the background, but I, I simply do not care. <laughs> You'll have to deal with it if, it if it gets that bad, because I'm... I would rather have the fan audible and still play the game than not play the game. If that makes sense. And it's like, it's, it's a constant level of fan too. It's... I don't have a, a noise gate on because I always get really distracted by noise gates like clicking in and out. So I, I never have a noise gate on for my stream. So if there is any background noise, it's always going to be consistent. So you can kind of like get used to it and tune it out. I don't know, that that might just be how I <laughs> how I personally see it. But it works out. Also, Kurazu, hello, welcome, welcome. Teffy, welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see everybody. And Tay, hello. Welcome, welcome. How am I holding up? I'm, um, I'm simply a melted blob on the floor, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm surviving. I'm, I'm mostly just, I'm fueled by pure Yuri energy today, I think. <laughs> It's like, if it were any other stream, if I was playing any other game, I may have actually cancelled the stream today because of the heat. But I refuse. I want to, I want to, I want to play this. <laughs> I want to finish the Millie route. I'm, I'm so close. We're so close. <laughs> and I want to learn about uh, Tanya and Heather as well. So that's, that's my goal for today. My goal is to finish the Millie route and then maybe do like the story stuff for Tanya and Heather and then see how I'm feeling after that and, and just go from there. But yes, it is incredibly warm. There's a heat wave in the UK. I'm really bad with heat anyway. I simply have melted. I am, I am simply a little melted blob on the floor. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm the kind of person where like, if it's cold, I don't feel the cold. I simply do not feel the cold. I, I will walk around in like, zero degrees weather just like wearing shorts and I'll be fine I, I just don't feel the cold but as soon as it starts getting like over 20 celsius that's when I start going oh I, I don't like this I can't exist anymore I don't know how to exist anymore <laughs> uh yeah oh by all means health must be prioritized before anything else yeah it's it's one thing I'm always like super cautious about like I, I never want to push myself too far I I feel like I've gotten pretty good at recognizing where my limits are and stopping there so I I won't keep going if I start feeling lightheaded or anything <laughs> but I think I'll be okay I think like 
I, I, I'm pretty sure I will have to turn the fan up at some point. Like, I don't think that's an if, I think that's more of a when. But I think I'll be okay. Like, I, I was okay on Sunday. Because it's what I did on Sunday. I, I originally had my fan just on very low. And then partway through the stream, I turned it up to, like, full power and pointed it straight at me. And then I was immediately better again. So that's that's the approach I will probably take here, too. Uh, wish you could be like that with the cold. Oh, well, I feel like it depends on the, the type of cold, too. Because uh, living in the UK, a lot of the, the cold weather here is, like, it's, it is very cold, but it's also very, like, mild coldness, if that makes sense. Like, the climate of the UK is more used to cold, so it's not as, like, abnormal when it is super cold. Whereas, like, in places where it's usually very warm, when those places get, like, really cold temperatures, the cold would hit way worse. Like, how the warm hits way worse in the UK. <laughs> it's like that. Oh, hit 5C here and you were two blankets and two hot water bottles with a cup of struggling. Ah. Oh, I wish we could, like, swap. Swap climates for a bit. We're on, like, opposite sides. Let, let's, like, even it out in the middle. <laughs> uh, small AFK fan breaks, always best options. Oh, I should do that. Maybe I could do that. If things get too bad, I'll take, like, a little five-minute break to just sit in front of my fan and cool down. <laughs> but, yeah. Black Waltz, hello! Yeah, exactly! I'm... I'm, I'm like, I'm used to the, the 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 climate and the temperature over here, so cold doesn't hit me as hard. And Dip, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in, everybody. I'm, ju I'm just ranting about how badly I do in heat. But yeah, I'm, I am, I'm looking after myself a lot. I'm making sure to drink a lot. We've got lots of ice lollies in. I've been enjoying the ice lollies. We've got these really nice ones that are like, mango and passion fruit I think and they're so nice they're so nice it's like they're not like normal ice lollies you get it's more like a almost like a mousse like a frozen mousse kind of texture to it and they are just so lovely they are really really nice and also very good when it's warm to cool down <laughs> with a nice frozen treat oh I really want to get myself some some sorbet. I really want to get myself some mango sorbet in, because I love sorbet. Uh, lolly! Like, lolly. Like, lollipop. Lolly. Ice lolly. Just a lollipop. It's it's basically just like a popsicle, or a like a... Just like frozen juice on a stick. <laughs> I guess is the best way to word it. But yes, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of frozen treats. But I really want to get some mango sorbet as well, because I love sorbet. And I haven't had any since last year, so... I might have to see if any of the shops have any of that in, because I want some. I very much want more frozen treats. <laughs> also, wannabe weave, hello! Welcome, welcome! It's Twofold Tuesday! It's also Yuri Day! Uh, why? I don't know why it's Yuri Day, I think there's probably a definition description why it is Yuri Day somewhere. I didn't read it. I just saw that it's Yuri Day and got excited. But uh, thank you for the hydrate too. Let me let me have some monster. And then let me also have some water because my goodness. Ugh. It's already nearly 29 degrees in my room. I've only just started. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Hold on, I was like, I would, I would show on the camera, but my desk is. Uh, I, I need to clean my desk at the moment. I'm, I'm not showing this off. <laughs> but my, my thermometer at the moment is at twenty eight point nine degrees Celsius, and I've only just started the stream. I think I'm gonna have to turn my fan up sooner than I thought. But it's okay. Let's begin. Uh, June 25th is the day of the white lily. Oh, that makes sense. The assigned date for the lily, which is where Yuri comes from. Yeah, Yuri, Yuri is the, 
Yuri is, is, is the Japanese word for lily. I think it was like, it originated as like a counterpart to bara. Like bara, which is rose, which also referred to like very manly men doing manly men things together. And so Yuri was chosen as like the counterpart of that. Like, oh, okay, we got a rose and a lily. Isn't that nice? This is how we will mention gay things. <laughs> but I think bara has kind of fallen out of favor as a term. And I, I think like in Japan as well, the term Yuri isn't actually used that often anymore. It's, it's mostly like the Western scene that still uses Yuri as a term. Because in, in Japan, they're more likely to just call it girls' love. It's boys' love and girls' love, I think. But uh, I still really love the term Yuri. I, like, I, I, love, I love flowers. I love flowers in general. And I think lilies are such pretty flowers, too. It's, it's very close to Liri as well. <laughs> but, oh, want to hear something cool? You got two downloads in the two hours after you posted your last work? Let's go, Bob. That's so cool. I love that. Just immediate downloads. That's so good. But yeah, I, th I think like, like specifically in Japan, it's it's more like GL and BL are like the terms that everyone knows and uses. But I still like I still like the word Yuri. I like it. I think it's a good term. And even if it's not still used in Japan, we'll still use it over here because. Lilies are pretty. <laughs> also, Ryan, hello! Welcome, welcome! Paper Mario? Oh, Mario's changed a bit. <laughs> Mario's changed a bit. Not, not quite a plumber going on here, but welcome, welcome! It's a Paper Mario, but without the Mario part, it's just paper. <laughs> <laughs> That that would be like looking up at the moon in the sky in the evening and going, oh, like harvest moon. <laughs> Not quite related, but hello, welcome, welcome, Lyrie of the Valley. Wait, oh, if I ever make a perfume line, if I ever make a perfume line, I'm calling it Lyrie of the Valley. That is beautiful. I love that. <laughs> Paper olive. Uh, where did we leave the rock and the scissors? Well, um. I was trying to think of like a funny joke I can make about the rock, like Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and my brain is just completely empty because of the heat. So I'm, I'm just gonna not. <laughs> Mario's now a dating sim made exclusively for the virtual boy. <laughs> There is probably somebody out there who has made a Mario dating sim, probably. But uh, I'm doing all right. I'm I'm very warm at the moment. There's currently a heat wave in the UK. There's currently a um, the weather is very warm, and I'm melting because I don't do well in the heat. But I have a fan, and I think I'm gonna have to turn up the fan at some point. But uh, it's currently already... Oh, yeah, we, we've broken the 29 degrees Celsius mark. It's 29.1 degrees Celsius just in my bedroom. Like, and I've, I've only just started the stream, too, so that's going to go up. Uh, it, it broke 30 the other day <laughs> when I was streaming Talos on Sunday. As I was streaming Talos on Sunday, it went above 30, and I ended up having to, like, have my fan at full blast aiming towards me but yeah it's very warm apparently tomorrow is going to be warmer which is why i am not streaming tomorrow <laughs> the weather forecast has said uh the highs are going to be on wednesday and then it's going to start getting cooler again but it won't really be like reasonable until the weekend so friday's still going to be a bit of a struggle i think but i believe i believe in the power of my ridiculous tower fan that's not actually very great, but it's something. But yeah, where rain? I wish, I wish there was rain. I really love when there's rain. I, 
it's one of my favorite things. Like, if there's ever a heat wave and then there is a weather forecast for a storm, I'm always so excited because the storm always cools everything down. It always cools the temperature down. It's like it still ends up being like very humid and wet, but it always makes the temperature go down. So I'm like, I don't care how humid it gets. Just get get the, the numbers down. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, you're melting right now too, Ryan, but find joy in this Lego axolotl set you have. I love the Lego axolotl so much. I want one. I really want one. I keep seeing pictures of it and I, I really, I, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> I want to get one. But yeah, I not not on women Wednesday. I know right. It's it's so homophobic. How can how can the heat be warmest on on women Wednesday? Personally against me. You're melting as well, but that's usual for you. Oh yeah, it's it's usual for me too. It's just not usually this bad. But yeah, right. I saw the one you posted on Discord. I saw like that that's the the first thing I saw, I, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I think I, like, emoji reacted to it because I was lying in bed, but it, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I want one. I want it so much. I just, I just love axolotls. I think they're very cute. I like them a lot. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's the Minecraft Lego set. Yeah, I, 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 I love so much that Minecraft and Lego have done like collaborations because it's, they're, they're blocks. It's blocks, blocks with blocks. It makes sense. It makes so much sense. Also, hi Mono, welcome. Welcome on in. I'm, I'm always here for the axolotl love. I love them. I love them a lot. <laughs> As you may be able to tell by the fact that I have one right, right up there looking after my can of monster for me. Which I'm gonna have another sip of now because I can. But yeah, it's so good. It's so, so good. Oh, so sorry, hello. Happy Yuri Day, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy, I love Yuri Day. It is Yuri Day. I didn't even realize it until last week. And I, I, I think it was it was actually the Bellflowers in the Studio Elan server being like, hey, did you know it's Yuri Day next week? And I checked the date and I saw it was a Tuesday. And I was like, oh, Yuri Day on Twofold Tuesday? It's like destiny. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. It's also the reason why I didn't finish Millie Root last week. Destiny decided that I needed to finish Millie's path on Yuri Day. It was decreed. The, the heavens declared it must be a thing, and therefore that's, it's now going to be a thing. But I love you, okay? I'm, I may, I may be, I may be a little bit gay. A little bit, t tiny, tiny bit. I don't know if anyone's noticed yet. So I'm, I'm trying to keep it hidden, but uh. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? Just a little bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit gay. I, um, I love women. In a, th no, I was gonna joke, like, in a platonic way. And it's like, I, I do love women in a platonic way. I also love them in a gay way. <laughs> Flashback to last week's silly giveaway command. Yeah, just, just Yuri. Just exclamation point Yuri. Or exclamation point, uh, club room keys. <laughs> Hand in your keys to get a two-fold key. I was so proud of that one. That was funny. Funny times. But yes, I, I'm very excited for today because I'm, I'm so close to the end of Millie's route. I'm so sure I'm really close to the end. So I'm really, really excited to finish this. But I'm... I love it. Oh, I'm kink. Oh, hello. What a funny thing to hear after you just come here. <laughs> Oh my, what, what a great first line. What a great first line to end to. Hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Two Fault Tuesday. It's Yuri Day and I love women. And also non-binary people because we do have Olive as the protagonist. But I'm, I'm here for all flavors of Yuri. I'm here for all of it. 
and I love it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, the plan is, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm really close to the end of Millie's path. So what I'm going to do after that is, uh, once I've finished Millie's route, I want to go back and do the other friendship options for the members of the club. Where I, like, I'll probably end up having to like skip through the text to get to the specific parts. So every time- oh yeah, every, every time someone says gay in chat, it drops gay hearts on my head. <laughs> it's great, it's the best. But yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's also another reason why I really like the term sapphic because sapphic is such like a nice umbrella that encompasses so many other things. So, like, I it's it's really weird because I know quite a few non-binary people, like I know I know quite a few non-binary lesbians, and they always talk about how they sometimes feel weird calling themselves a lesbian because they're non-binary. But they're still, they, they are like so clearly lesbians to me. And it's, I can understand it because it, I think it's the kind of problem where if people adopt a label that they think fits them, it sometimes feels weird if other people apply that label in a slightly different way. But I, I'm, I'm here for like inclusivity and it, it feels really mean spirited to be like, well, no, actually, um, you can't call yourself a lesbian if you're non-binary because then it's like how many more steps do you then take then is is it like then well you can't call yourself a lesbian because you weren't assigned female at birth you can't like it, how far does it go it's I, it's a slippery slope and I would much rather be on the side of inclusion and love therefore love uh, TLDR love <laughs> I have I have many complex and nuanced thoughts on this topic that I I'm not going to go into because I don't want things to start getting too heavy and deep and stuff. But uh, TLDR, Yuri, great, Yuri, great, I love it. It's happy happy Yuri day. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for the hydrate, do have a hydrate to continue in. And Maya, hello, nice to see you too. Welcome on in, glad you managed to make it for Yuri Day. But yeah, it's set up at the moment so that if you say gay, it drops the, the pride hearts on my head. And if you say uh, lesbian or women, it will drop uh, the lesbian flag on my head. <laughs> I did want to add more. I wanted to add more for Pride Month, but um, with the heat ramping up, I kind of just did not exist this weekend. So all the time I would have spent setting that up, I, I simply forgot. I just forgot to do it. I do <laughs> so next year, next year, it's going to be every single flag. But yeah, sometimes they get stuck on my head. But it's okay. They're, uh, they're biodegradable. They're good for the environment. They will disintegrate after a while. <laughs> but I love it. But yeah, if anyone else wants the hearts as well, they are, they're free to download. There's a there's a link in my about section. Barb made them. <laughs> she made a full set. There's so many flags to choose from. Uh, will I be keeping the heart keywords even after Pride? I will do, but I think I'll just reduce it to one heart instead of two. Because at the moment, every time you say gay, it drops two hearts on my head. After Pride, I think I'll just make it the one, so it's not too extreme. <laughs> But, uh, see, see, sometimes, sometimes the two will drop on my head and one of them just flies immediately off this way and you can't see it. But there are two there. But yeah, Barb has a, a whole bunch of stuff on her gumroad. Uh, she's also, she recently released a, a Pokeball thing where it's like an interactive Pokeball that will try and catch you. Like 3D, 3D model thing, which is really cool. <laughs> I've seen her use it on her own stream and it's very cool. But yeah, there's I, I did too because of the, the way they kept flying off. I wanted them to be here. I think what I'll do actually is... Yeah, I think at the end of the month what I'll do is I'll do it so they don't drop on my head, but they fly in from the left-hand side to hit me in the head that way. So then I don't have to worry about one dropping and immediately flying off the screen. It'll just go across the screen instead. <laughs> 
patch notes, gay hearts are being nerfed after Pride Month. Yeah, that, that's because then it becomes, um, um, instead of gay pride, it becomes gay wrath. <laughs> and I must relieve my wrath by throwing things at my head. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think that through before I kept saying it. I'm blaming the heat. <laughs> Oh, I've only seen the old version. Oh, I can't wait to see the new one too then. I want to see it. Also, Lyra, hello. Happy Yuri Day. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in. Wouldn't Wrath be more aggressive? Yeah, I, I guess I need to make them fly in harder. I'll increase the weight so it's like you're throwing a, a tungsten cube at my head. Ah, <laughs> uh, You actually get inside the Pokeball Wrath. That's... That's really cool. That's so cool. That is so cool. I love that. Oh, I have to see that. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> right, anyway, I've I've been yapping enough, I think. I wanna I wanna finish the route, so I'm gonna I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load, we're gonna continue. I'm gonna have another sip of water before I start. Water. Ah. Make the hearts bigger too. Yes, that's what I'll do is if it's a throwable one. Like if you do the the command to throw an item at me. Uh, if if you do the the point redeem for throwing something at me, sometimes there are the pride hearts in there, and those ones are much bigger. Like the throwable ones are bigger. They're only small when they're like dropped on my head, because I I if if it drops on my head, it's little. It's little. Oh, I got a cupcake. Thank you. See, I'm actually just tricking you into providing me with snacks. It's a Sandra. <laughs> was it a Pokeball? No, it was a cupcake. It was just a, a red and white cupcake. I think that was a cookie. That one hit me really fast. That one's a little sweetie. I know one of them is a fan. If someone could throw a fan at me, that would be really good. There it is. There it was. There was a... the lesbian heart. And as you, as you would have seen there, hopefully, it's much bigger when you throw it at my head than when it falls on top of me. <laughs> but yay, it worked! Oh, you're gonna say, don't think it works on cat girls. No, I'm... I, d I don't think I could be caught by a Pokeball. If I were a Pokemon, I would be that awful Pokemon who makes it rock like three times and then breaks out and runs away. That's that's me as a Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, you got the D20 too. Hold on, let's Right, before I click load, I'm I'm going to roll a D20. To decide my luck for the stream, what do I get? What do I roll? <gasps> I just got a natural 20. <laughs> Not 20, let's go. I wish I wish my desk wasn't a mess so I could have turned my camera on. But I just got a nat 20. Let's go. Let's go. It's it's going to be a good day. I mean, of course it's going to be a good day. It's Yuri day. But yes. Yes. Oh, if a Pokéball works on a barbarian unicorn, why wouldn't it work on cat girls? No, that's true. It's it doesn't it would work on cat girls in general. I'm just built different. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. I'm so excited. Yuri Day gives best luck. It does. It's so true. It's so true. <laughs> oh, a Leary stream day is always a good day. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think so. I feel like things have been a bit, a bit wibbly wobbly in June. It's been a bit of a wobbly month for me. <laughs> so, uh... Like I had a I've had a lot of things that I've been planning that haven't worked out in June, so it's been a bit of a, a weird time for me. And I always have like that little moment of oh I hope people are still enjoying the streams and stuff, even <laughs> even when things are a, a little bit all over the place. But it's I, I always have such a nice time streaming. It's the hardest part of making my schedule in a heat wave is the fact that it's really hard to stream in a heat wave. But I really love streaming, so I want to just keep doing it. <laughs> but that's why I decided to have a break for Wednesday. I'm, I'm having a break tomorrow, and I'm not going to... I'm not even going to try and do any work. I'm, I'm just going to lie in bed. I'm just going to wear a really loose t-shirt and shorts. I'm going to lie in bed with the fan pointed at me. I'm going to do nothing. 
I'm doing absolutely nothing tomorrow. And it's been a while since I allowed myself to have a day where I do nothing. So I'm a little excited for it. I'm, I'm really excited to just like lie in bed, play mobile games on my phone, play Neopets. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Wibbly wobbly Juni Rooney. It's exactly what it is. It really is, but I'm excited for a rest day. I'm also going to allow myself a holiday at some point too. I don't know when yet. I have no idea when, but I'm actually going to take a week off from streaming. But it's it's not going to be like a week off for rest. It's going to be a week off for me to do some really exciting project stuff that I've been working on and hopefully actually produce results for that. So I'm also incredibly excited for that as well. <laughs> Anyway, let's continue. A oh, baby pool indoors, just saying, oh, I, I wouldn't trust myself with water around. <laughs> I would spill it. I would make a mess. Uh, join, join your Grand Blue crew. <laughs> I only ever play Grand Blue Fantasy when there's free rolls. I uninstall it, and then I install it again when there are free pulls for gacha. I get a bunch of characters, I uninstall it again. I have so many of the, you know, like the, the Zodiac animal characters. I have so many of them and I don't play the game. Like my friends who actively play the game don't have these characters and I've got like nearly all of them just from free balls. I'm, I'm, I'm that person that everyone hates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they're all really good. <laughs> they're really good characters. I still remember the first time. I, I was like, oh, I've, I've got like five of these. And my friends were like, what? You don't even play, what? <laughs> oh, you start your holidays on Friday, Bob. That is exciting. Oh, you do, have you got nice plans? I hope you got nice plans. I, I never go away on holiday. I don't remember the last time I actually went away for a holiday. It would have been like pre-COVID times now. Like 20... Yeah, 2020. Start of 2020 was the last time I, like, went away for a break. So it's been a while. <laughs> but maybe next year. Maybe next year I will go on holiday. Maybe it will coincidentally be around the time that Ofkai Expo happens. Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. <laughs> Uh, you're going to the end of the world, according to the Romans, with your fiancé and son. Wait, where is the end of the world? Where did the Romans think was the end of the world? I'm, I know nothing about history or geography. But I hope you have a lovely, lovely holiday. It sounds like it'll be so good. And Dr. Anime, hello. Welcome, welcome. Silly news, uh... Do, do, do. I don't know what that series is. Seven days left to go. Is that something that's coming out or about to finish? I'm really behind on everything related to anime at the moment. It's been a while since I sat down and watched an anime. But I hope you're doing well. Oh, you'll DM me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I get to know the secrets. Not revealing it to anybody else. Oh, my Discord decided to... Uh, install an update apparently that's nice of it Ooh. oh i hope you have a lovely time i hope you have a lovely time ba 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 if you're not wrong the end of the world was supposed to be in spain Ooh. nice i've never been i've never been to spain the only, the only European country I've been to that's not part of the UK is Germany. And by extension, France, because we, I think we went through France, but I didn't stay there. But I, I've only ever visited Germany before. And it, it was back on like a school trip when I was younger. Uh, I, I'm really bad at German. But uh, one thing I remember very vividly was a bunch of like German teenagers started heckling us in the street. And so we started like applauding and cheering them on. Like we were just sat there going, woo, woo, just this group of like three random teenage girls. And they just looked really confused and walked away. It was the funniest thing. 
like just just these random teenagers, like guys and girls, older than we were at the time, on the other side of the road, just yelling stuff at us in German. We just started cheering them, and they they looked really confused and walked away. <laughs> it was good, good times, good times. We also visited a Haribo factory and got lots of gummy sweets. That's all I remember. I don't I don't remember any actual educational parts of that trip. I just remember the gummy bears. <laughs> the uh, the gummy bet and probably mispronounced that. It's been a while. Anyway, I said I was going to do this like 10 minutes ago, so let's let's actually continue now. Here we go. Oh, okay. So last time we played this, it was part of the the Bellflowers relay. And we just found out that Caprice has not been doing well. And I felt incredibly guilty because I kind of just presumed that Caprice would be okay. Because she's always been so, so bubbly and smiley and happy and stuff. And I kind of, I, I really took that for granted. I, I didn't, I was so focused on Millie because of like Millie living with us. That I forgot to consider how Caprice would be feeling in all of this. And I think, I guess as well, I was kind of thinking, well, at least Caprice has the art club. So it's probably fine. But then I remember who's in the art club and it's Alison, who would be scared of bothering her. And Eileen, who would be like, I should give her some space. And Wallace, who simply wouldn't know what to do. So he would do probably not much. And I'm now realizing, ah, ah, I see there's nobody who would actively, like, figure out what's what's wrong, probably, out of that group. So, so this is a bit of a tricky situation to be in, but I'm... Like, the fact that they... They love each other so much. Everyone loves each other so much here. They're family. They, they can figure this out. I am a little scared, though. Also, Q! Hello! Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the head pad. Oh, thank you for the hydrate as well, Bob. Let's, yeah, let's have a sip before we start this. Maybe emotional. It was definitely emotional last week. Man, I really didn't expect last week's to, to hit me as hard as it did. But like when we were, when it started talking about grief and stuff, it was a a little moment of, ah, uh, actually, yes, this this does hit quite close to home. <laughs> cool. I do need more water. Thank you. I've had a sip of my water. I've still got half a bottle of water left. And I do have another water bottle next to my bed as well. So I will stay hydrated. Okay. Am I ready? I don't know. <laughs> Millie and I sit together on the couch. Millie lost in a book while I try my best to enjoy the quiet atmosphere with her. At this point, it's nothing out of the ordinary from how we've been spending our evenings. I forgot they both have glasses on now. <laughs> Except this isn't our couch and her book isn't the usual mystery novel. She's buried herself in its pages, her face hidden by the cover, the now all too familiar shooting star. <laughs> oh my goodness, I... Ah, uh, Two Fold's core story beats come relatively late into the path so you really struggled with figuring out how to market it without spoiling stuff oh yeah i ups and downs to basically not talking about the family stuff at all yeah i i've got to say like personally i'm really glad that the promotional stuff didn't mention like the depth of the story the the family stuff because it made it like I didn't know what to expect going into this. All I knew was that Olive was failing. I thought it was going to be mostly about like the classes and the lessons and like getting through the year. But that was resolved like act one. So like when we finished then I was like, well, which direction is this going in now? But by that point, I'd gotten so invested in the characters that like it didn't feel like a bad thing. I Like I didn't feel cheated or anything. I felt like this is giving me more than I more than I thought I would get. More, more than I, 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 I was gonna say more than I bargained for, and that now I've just got Fallout Boy singing in my head. Why? <laughs> Am I more than you bargained for yet? 
Huh. Huh. But yeah, I, I, I think the marketing was done perfectly, though. Like, I, if anything, I think, I don't know, I think there would be more people who would be interested if they knew the depth of, like, the, the characters and the family and, like, just, just the depth in general, I think. But that's the kind of thing that word of mouth is so good for, like... It's the kind of thing where you can go like, hey, I recommend this so much. If you like feeling emotions, check this out. And I feel like word of mouth is like such, such a powerful marketing tool. Like if you've got something that people want to recommend to other people, then you've got something wonderful. You've got something golden. Like <laughs> it's the, the best form of marketing. Like the amount of things I've, I've played that I wouldn't have played if I hadn't been recommended it by a friend. It's such a such a powerful tool and the kind of thing that only works when you actually have something great. So yeah, just kudos for making something great. I love it. I love this so much. I haven't even finished it and I love it. It's so special. Also, Mama, hello, it is. It's two for Tuesday and it's also Yuri Day. So I'm very excited to, to finish Millie's path here. It's also incredibly warm, but I'm holding up okay, I think. I'm holding up. My The temperature in my room hasn't gone up much since the last time I checked. So I think pointing the fan at myself has definitely helped. It's it's still higher than I would like, but I can I can manage with this. I can survive like this. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's to frantically search for an answer to some unspoken question or merely to distract herself from our situation. Probably some mix of the two. Almost as soon as we got home from, uh, oh, almost as soon as we got back home from visiting Haley, Millie started making calls. First to her dad, and then, after Caprice refused to pick up, to Charlie. <gasps> I'm actually talking to her. <laughs> I'm so proud of Millie here. A simple request to try again, to speak honestly and openly, leaving nothing on the table. Not really a complex plan, but it was enough to win the two over. Not that I doubt they'd have accepted anyway. Yeah, they, they would have accepted either way. I'm very sure about that. Because that's all Caprice has been trying to do this whole time. She's been trying to, to fix things, to have things the way they were, so they're close again. The only uncertainty left is Caprice, but Charlie assured Millie she'd do her best to bring her along. The Clark house is exactly how I remembered leaving it, stressful silence included. The tree's still up. Guess Mike hasn't had the time, motivation, to tear it down yet. Ooh. Mike's off in the kitchen working on something or other, faint chopping sounds being the only other noise in the large house. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Hold on, I just realized what I've forgotten. I just realized what I've forgotten. The thing I probably need the most in this stream. I nearly forgot it. Hold on. Here it is. There it is. We definitely need this today. I nearly forgot it. It's a little small, hold on. There we go. I can't believe I nearly forgot it. I needed it. <laughs> the post-it, I can't believe I nearly forgot the post-it. I'm glad I remembered before it's too late. <laughs> I feel like if th th we're gonna need this now more than ever, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Also, Grace now, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in, welcome to the Welcome to Millie's path in twofold. I'm, I'm scared. Three knocks on the door breaks us all from our respective trances. It's time. Conflict resolution time? Question mark. I look behind me to watch as Mike makes his way to the front of the house, then turn back once Millie's hand finds mine, giving it a tight squeeze. 
She doesn't make eye contact, still hiding most of her face behind her now-closed journal. Mike wordlessly opens the door, revealing Charlie. Just Charlie. Mike instinctively leans in for a hug, but thinks better of it. Millie wears a difficult expression as he quickly pulls himself back upright. Make yourself comfortable. Won't be a sec. Uh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be difficult. It feels like it's been hours since I last heard someone speak, to the point where I actually jump a little as he addresses her. She responds with a nod as she takes off her coat, prompting him to retreat back to the kitchen while she makes her way towards us. Hey, you two. Been a while. Yeah, hi. Sorry about that. That's... it's okay. She's... Charlie is so lovely. Charlie is so lovely. I... I, I feel more optimistic about this because of the fact that Charlie's here. I... I believe in her ability to, to make things okay. Like, I, I look at her face and she smiles and I feel like things are going to be okay. <laughs> I write myself and try my best to put on a natural-looking smile. I can't do much, but I can at least do my part to make sure the atmosphere starts off okay. It's good to see you again, ma'am. I didn't know you worked at the aquarium. Ah. She briefly gives me a confused look, before glancing down and recognizing the source of my clairvoyance. Been a tour guide for just over 20 years now, actually. I can tell you just about anything you need to know about the creatures of the deep, so long as I'm given a script to memorize a week or two beforehand. I love her. I love her. Wow. You must really like fish. <laughs> Olive. That's just such a funny line to hear in this situation, but... If it breaks the tension, I'm here for it. She gives me a laugh, sincere though small. That's always been more Caprice's thing. I actually thought about looking for another job, but it was enough for Caprice and I, and she always loved visiting. Oh. The smile she briefly had while recounting her job sparks something in her, and her gloomy expression returns just as quickly as it had faded, as she turns to Millie. Hey, sorry. I tried to get her to join us. She said she would and join me when I left for work today. But I'm guessing it, it got too much the closer they got. No longer able to avoid the conversation, Millie finally looks up, meeting Charlie's eyes just in time for Charlie to avert hers. When I clocked out and told her we were leaving, she said she didn't feel up to it after all and stayed behind. Uh. She's still at the aquarium? Yeah, probably. I told her to call me when she wanted a ride back home. Millie doesn't respond verbally, her growing frown doing enough speaking for her. And so the conversation ends, the home returning to relative silence, broken up only by Mike's shuffling about in the other room. You should sit down. Always a good start for a conversation. Charlie initially meets her with shock before donning an awkward half-smile. Don't worry about me. I appreciate it, though. <sighs> Millie protests in her own silent way, inching herself closer to me and patting the cushion next to her. Out of ways to reject the offer, Charlie finally accepts, finding her place next to Millie. I don't think Charlie expected Millie to want to talk to her. I think Millie, uh, Charlie was just expecting Millie to want to talk to Caprice and kind of like end the conversation when realizing Caprice isn't here. But I think Millie genuinely wants to talk to Charlie as well. Like the this is part of the the situation here involves her so it's oh, <laughs> oh sanyo mita thank you so much for the hydrate and posture check let me have 
a big stretch. And a sip of my drink. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome to incredibly awkward conversations. Happy Yuri Day. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not long before Mike joins us, placing a couple small fruit bowls on the table in front of us. Just something light for now. I was hoping we'd have the chance to go to a proper dinner after this. Oh, he was chopping fruit. That's really sweet. <laughs> Neither Millie nor Charlie acknowledge his suggestion for the evening. Doing his best to shake off the awkwardness of it, uh, of it, he takes his seat next to Charlie, grabbing an orange slice for himself in the process. So, Mills, we're listening. Whenever you're ready. Uh, now the writer has to think of the words. Also, Brinley, hello, happy awkward Yuri day. Ah. Oh. It's okay. It's there, there. There has to be the awkwardness to break through it to fix things. It's, it's like it's awful, but it's necessary. It's important. It's very important, but it's still very hard. But welcome, welcome. Dad gets a reaction out of her. Millie's grip on my hand tightening as her name comes up. The silence drags on. Millie maintains my hand in hers, biting her bottom lip as she struggles to start. She looks towards me nervously. I give her a nod and shake her hand in mine. Go ahead. I'm here. I love them. Olive is so good. Olive is so great. I love them. I love Millie, too. I love Mike, too. I love Charlie, too. Deep breath. We exhale together. Millie focuses her eyes down on the floor as she takes to her feet. I'm scared. That was enough to train all of the eyes in the room on her. I match her squeeze with one of my own to remind her I'm there, which gives her just enough willpower to push on. I've been thinking about and rehearsing everything I've wanted to say all day, and the more I do, the more it all sounds silly and irrational. I I understand that feeling so much, but it's not silly and irrational if it's important to you. And, like, even if it is silly and irrational, it's... Brains are irrational. Lord knows my brain is irrational sometimes. The amount of times my brain has gone, oh, actually, nobody likes you. Everyone's just putting up with you because they feel sorry for you. You don't actually have any friends. Like... That's irrational. And I know it's not true, but brains do that. Brains are awful. <laughs> I know I'm in the wrong for a lot of things. Maybe mm. even all of them. I think that's how I'd see it if I were in your shoes anyway. <laughs> it's so... It's gotta be such a hard situation as well, because, like, she, she definitely was in the wrong for a lot of things, but it's... It's, it's, it's complicated. It's not as simple as just like, I was wrong. I'm the bad guy. There's so much more to it than that. I don't think this is yes. a right and wrong kind of situation. Mm -hmm. I guarantee I'm not going to love you any less over what you have to say. What a good dad. What a good dad. Thank you, Mike. It doesn't matter if it's silly or irrational, if that's how you really feel. That's all we've ever cared about. <laughs> And this is exactly what I was just saying, too. Maybe maybe I have the connected brain cell with the parents in twofold. <laughs> maybe I'm actually just a parent in disguise. And my, my only child is a cat. But... <sighs> oh, same brain cell. Oh my god. Oh! The, oh. She's gonna, she's gonna read from the journal. Oh. It takes a minute, but Millie's hold on me eventually loosens. She uses her now freed hand to open her journal to one of several pages she had bookmarked this morning. If you're ever feeling lost, always know that Dad will be there to lend you an ear. And if for whatever reason he isn't, I'm sure Charlie will be. If nothing else, 
Please remember that you'll never be alone. Oh. Oh. Mom left all of this advice, all these instructions to me, and I've clung to every word. But there's so many questions left unanswered. I didn't know where to turn when you two weren't an option. You can always come to... She can't really turn to them when the problem is them. I, I understand her, her thoughts there. No, I couldn't. Not this time. The sternness of her reply could easily be mistaken for frustration, but thankfully it fades as she allows herself a breath to refocus her thoughts. I wanted to be happy for you two. I am. But... But dropping the news on us out of the blue that you started dating, and letting Caprice break the news for you that you were making things official, there was never enough time to process anything. And then suddenly they're planning the wedding, and... Uh. I'm sorry, Millie. That was never supposed to be how you found out. I know. Uh, I don't blame you. Or her. Not anymore. But it doesn't change the fact that it made approaching any of you about this feel impossible. How could I when the three of you were so happy? Ow. <laughs> I understand. We never wanted to exclude you, sweetheart. I'm sorry we made you feel so alone. Uh, do I remember when Caprice was basically vibrating in the first snow post credits about how. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh. Oh, Caprice. No. Caprice. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, my goodness. That makes so much sense. That photo really was like the, the last moment they were all just happy and together like that. Just. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Ow. I'm glad you were able to find all of it, at least. Even if you felt that way about us, your dad and I were happy to hear you found someone you could mm. lean on. <laughs> Millie gives me a glance, a silent request to admit what she can't. We only started dating recently. Uh, okay, admitting to the fake dating time. Oh. Oh, can't take two consecutive days of crying. Oh no, don't, no need to apologize, Bob. This this game is extremely emotional. There there is a it's there's a lot going on in this game. If you have to lurk, that's completely fine. There's no need to apologize. But thank you for stopping in. Have a have a nice rest up. Get ready for holidays. Think about nice things. <laughs> oh my goodness. I oh I love this game. I love this so much. <sighs> well, obviously. No, no, sooner than you think. Like, more recently than you think. Like, after Christmas recently. <laughs> huh. With the groundwork now laid, Millie turns her attention back to the two, ready to pick up where I left off. Up until the last few weeks, Olive was just my escape plan whenever you or Caprice tried to pull me into mm. some family thing. I'm sorry for lying to you, but I just desperately needed the space. I'm sorry, too. I didn't want to lie to any of you, but... Familiar. <laughs> but you were doing right by her. Mm. It's okay. I get it. Oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike, for understanding. <laughs> Mike's interjection surprises Millie and I in equal measure, her eyebrows raised as high as they can go. Charlie doesn't elaborate, but her sad smile serves as enough of an agreement with her fiancé. 
With that first bombshell navigated about as well as anyone could hope, Millie's confidence seems to come back to her as she returns to her book, posture straightened slightly. Olive's been there for me as a friend and as a partner. Without them by my side, I don't know that I'd have the courage to do this. So I'm just gonna come out and say it. She lets go of my hand and holds her book, her hands caressing the cover as she continues. This journal is the most important thing I own, written by the most important person in my life. It's my voice, helping me find words when I can't find them on my own. But for as thorough as she was, she left some things incomplete. I'd like you two to help fill in the blanks, because I don't know how to do it alone. I love this. I'm so proud of her. I'm, I'm so proud of Millie right now. She waits for a response and gets none. Nevertheless, she thumbs to another of her bookmarks, pushing it up to skip to, uh, skip to the section she had highlighted. Page 53. I'm afraid of forgetting you. This was from me to her. She wrote down a response, talking about how she was afraid of the same thing, but that forgetting was okay. It was one of the only answers I could never really accept as it was. It's just heartbreaking beyond words. Imagining someone being okay with fading away into nothing. Oh my goodness, there are, there are motorcycles right outside my window at the moment, just revving up, going back and forth, and it's so distracting. <laughs> Can they stop? I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment here. Can you can you stop revving your motorcycles? Thank you. <laughs> your mother will never be nothing to us. I hope I don't need to tell you that. I know you mean that. I really do. It's just so hard to see what's happening and what it really means. Yeah, it's the kind of situation where like, no, but nobody's ever going to forget her. Nobody's ever going to forget Adelaide, because like, that's not the kind of thing you can forget. But I think the memory is going to change as time goes on. It's... In, in like, good and bad ways. It's... It's hard to deal with. Especially when Millie doesn't want things to change. <laughs> there are parts of her that are gone forever. Grandma and Grandpa are gone, so there's no one around to remember her childhood. And there's the smaller things. What flowers she would grow in the garden in the back. Individual stories she'd read me. The weekends we'd all spend together. The finer details of her life are already fading away. Millie starts to crack, a sniffle interrupting her train of thought. I do the only thing I can do and place a hand on her back, giving her a gentle rub. And now, the stuff that really mattered to her, the things that defined her life, her wedding ring and how easily it was forgotten. You putting yours away, then replacing it with a new one. Mm. The photos of her, of us, slowly being taken down and replaced with newer, happier memories. That's... Oh, it's, yeah. I would never, ever want to get between you and your happiness, and I'm sorry for being so cold about it up until now. But it's just, sometimes it feels like every step closer to the marriage is one step away from her. And I'm worried that once the big day comes, it'll just be all of us washing our hands of what little is left of her. It won't be. It, it, it won't be. There's, there's no way it could be, but it's... It's such a valid worry to have. I was scared of forgetting her then, when she was still around and the memories were fresh. Now I'm terrified. Sorry for the squeaks. I'm, I'm moving my mic to try and find like the right position for it, but my mic stand is so squeaky. <laughs> uh. Tears start to fall, staining the immaculately maintained journal. Oh, Mills.
Charlie brings her hand forward. She hesitates for a brief moment before committing, wrapping her arm around Millie's back, embracing her as best she can next to her on the couch. There's so much I can't remember about her. All the stories I want to tell you or Caprice about our time in high school, or even just small moments we shared while raising the two of you that I just can't quite manage to recall. <laughs> it breaks my heart to think about all the things that are just... gone. With my hands still on Millie's back, it's easy for me to notice the gentle shake Charlie gives her. But it's okay. She didn't leave us much, but it was enough. Even if you didn't have your journal, or I didn't have my bracelet, or we didn't have our photos, it'd be fine. For the first time today, Charlie doesn't hesitate to close the distance between herself and her daughter. <laughs> scooting herself closer to tighten her hug around her. All we need to remember is the love we felt for her and her us. That's who Adelaide was. Anything else is just a happy extra. <laughs> so true. <laughs> That's why it's okay to forget. It's impossible for us to lose the one thing that really matters. That's what I think she meant. All of us sit while Millie processes Charlie's answer. Her tears eventually stop and the sniffles soon after. There's one more page I want to look at. Go ahead. She flips to her last bookmark, only a few pages behind the current one. Page 42. What to do if dad gets a new mom. She left it blank. Charlie can't help but retreat away, both her and Mike's eyes wide. Charlie turns to Mike, hopeful he'll have an answer, but his expression shifts to a difficult one as the room looks to him. A quick spark of realization about something or other seems to hit him as his expression comes to life for a brief second. Whatever came to him quickly leads into frustration as he drags a hand down his face, his features being pulled downward in the process. I've put you through so much. I had no idea. Dad? Mike brings himself to his feet. There he stands, eyes closed, the only movement from him being the tapping of his foot as he puts his thoughts in order. I just need you to know, no matter how we felt, Charlie and I would never do something like this if we thought your mom might not approve of it. I know how that page must look, and how hard it is to believe me, but I promise you that she just ran out of time. It's not... I believe you. Yeah, I don't, I don't think her mom would have left that page blank on purpose. I, I do not think she would have done that. I think it would probably have been left blank because she wouldn't know what to write there. She'd want to make sure she writes the right thing. It's... Writing the wrong thing there could make things, like, so much worse. Oh, God, ev everything about this is just... <laughs> uh, huh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. What? Mike swivels in place to face his daughter, eyes now wide open. That's all I wanted to hear. I know you wouldn't lie about something like this. Millie turns to me and gives me a gentle smile. She nudges my arm as she closes her journal, and I take the cue to raise it from her back. She reaches down, giving my hand one more soft squeeze before it's out of reach. I need a time to grieve and go through the process of moving on. But above that, I needed to hear that from you, from both of you, that this wasn't us saying goodbye to her. Both of us think about her every single day. I know you do too. I know, I shouldn't... I know I never had any real reason to doubt you, but just... 
With everything moving so fast... <laughs> like with Haley before, Millie collapses into her dad, hugging him with everything she has. Just as quickly... Uh, just as quickly, Charlie and I are standing, Charlie joining Mike in comforting their daughter. To put that on you too, to even think, I'm so sorry. We understand. Of course we understand. Of course they understand. <laughs> Thank you for talking about this with us. I'm sorry we weren't able to listen until now. Oh, oh I'm... Maybe crying a bit right now. <laughs> oh. As the three huddle around, holding on to each other, I breathe a sigh of relief. The burden that had been on Millie's shoulders since before I met her is finally starting to lift. And I swear I can feel it almost as strongly. As they all slowly regain their composure, Millie pulls away, finding her spot by me once again. Adjusting her braid and glasses, she looks first to her parents and then the door. I wish Caprice could have been here for this. Me too. Charlie's expression shifts and turns, having an internal debate with herself at Millie's statement. One side wins out as her posture relaxes again, a smile finding its way to her face. You should catch her up to speed. I'm sure both of you still have some things to say to each other. <laughs> Millie plays with her braid, her uncertainty transparent. Are you sure that's the best idea? I don't want to ambush her. I trust you two. <laughs> Just be honest with her, but gentle, and you'll be fine. I guess we're going to the aquarium. <laughs> Charlie reaches into her back pocket, pulling out a couple slips of paper. She steps forward, presenting one to each of us. Yep. I flip it over curiously in my hand, the big bold aquarium logo immediately grabbing my attention. Free entry pass, for use only by family of staff member Charlotte Amelia Shifton. It'd be unfair to have you pay entry to do something like this. Uh, Save yourself a few dollars. Thank you. Family. Family. Family pass. Family. Like, if every time it says... Every time it's been saying their daughter, or like with Charlie, her daughter in chat. In chat? Oh my god. In, in the game. In, in the window. In text. Did I really just say in chat? I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm blaming the heat. Every time it's said her daughter or their daughter, I've... It's just been like, I feel it in my heart every time. I'm just... <sighs> Millie looks over the pass as if it was worth its weight in gold. Eyes beginning to well, but not quite to the point of tears. Here then, let me trade you. Oh? With the pass in her left hand, Millie extends her right towards Charlie. The one holding her journal. Millie, no. I'm not giving it to you. I just want you to keep it safe until I can pick it up again when we meet for dinner tonight. Oh, oh, the... <laughs> if you did want to read it, though, I think... I think that'd make her happy. She had some things to say to both of you, too. With Millie's explanation and the implications it provides, Charlie finally accepts the book, though not without hesitation. <laughs> family dinner, family dinner plans. <sighs> sure you don't want to just take it with you? <laughs> Millie shakes her head. I've used mom's words when I couldn't find my own ever since she gave that journal to me. Caprice needs to hear from me though, not her. Yeah, it's time for her to use her own words. I believe... I believe in her. I believe... <laughs> Charlie and Mike smile and wrap their arms around each other, looking like a couple for the first time since I've known them. See you tonight, then. Love you. 
Drive safe. Call us if you need anything. Don't keep us waiting too long. Love you both too. I'll meet you at the usual place as soon as I pick up Caprice. The usual place? <laughs> Millie turns to me again, a brilliant shine in her eyes and a smile on her face. She reaches for my hand and I give it eagerly. Sorry to keep dragging you into these things, Olive. You really make it all feel manageable. I think they're okay with it. <laughs> Never a problem. Let me know if I can do anything else, too. <laughs> of course. With a jingle, she produces her car keys. And outside, Junebug honks twice as Millie unlocks the doors. Come on, Junebug. Come on, Junebug. We've, we've got a caprice to, um... To... 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 To fix things with... I, I don't know what I was... L let's go! One more try. Side by side, we push through the cold wind and winter air towards the car. This is like the most opposite weather that it could be right now. This... <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> All of this is set in the middle of winter, and I'm here in the middle of summer. Like, yes. Yes, this is the right time to play this game. <sighs> Not long after. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I, I believe. I believe. I can't remember the last time I've been to the aquarium. In every tank is a sea of colors. Delicate underwater blooms unfold in every direction. A swarm of fish pass by, their scales shimmering in the light, casting rainbow hues across the water. The plants sway to and fro like grass in the wind, and I watch it all with equal parts awe and interest. Caprice grew up here. The simple truth of that, paired with her coming here when it all became too much, reminds me of when I was young holding my breath underwater in the pool for as long as I could. Millie points to a large stingray floating by, surrounded by smaller fish that I don't know the names of. Stingrays used to be my favorite. I loved how they had a little smiling face on their underside. I love rays. I think they're very sweet. I, I love the way they, like, glide through the water. Used to be are they not anymore it'd be really cute if she says she really likes otters more now because of caprice olive please oh. a grown woman <laughs> my favorite is obviously the tiger shark now oh of course i i, I should have known that i should have known that meanwhile i'm just here like my favorite fish is the little ones <laughs> I really like, like, the really small fish, but you get, like, a whole school of them. And they're in, like, so many vibrant colors, and you just see them, like, swimming past. Like a little rainbow. I love those kind of fish. I love bright fish. Flat sharks. Wait, they kind of are, aren't they? They're like flat sharks. Olive's favorite is the seaweed. <laughs> no, honestly, I could unironically imagine Olive being, like, I really love sea anemones. The, the ones that just sit there and look pretty. Ah, I should have guessed. Yeah, honestly, how didn't you realize that, Olive? <laughs> she nudges against me. We stand there for a moment longer, waiting for the next rush of life to pass by before moving on. An enemy? Where? Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to see an enemy. <laughs> I mean, I want one. From what I remember, the aquarium is pretty small. Two floors and about half or maybe a third of the size of the zoo altogether. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in variety. Yeah. Yeah, we, we also got the surprise guest appearance of the drink vending machine. Yeah, I noticed the drink vending machine as, like, the, the background was fading in. <laughs> also, Timonchi, hello! Welcome, welcome! 
Good morning, Bink Cat. Good morning, Bimochi. Welcome, happy Yuri Day. Welcome to Twofold Tuesday. I think we're about to have a very emotional moment, so welcome. <laughs> I may cry. I probably will cry. I've already cried. I'm a, I'm ready. I'm ready. Maybe. I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm ready. Each tank hosts a spectacle of creatures and plants, decorated with rocks and other features, all living together in closed, harmonious ecosystems. All of this to say, we're not in a rush. Wherever Caprice may be, we'll cross paths soon enough. The dull sound of waves crashing against the coral reef display, the hushed whispers of the stream of people nearby, and Millie by my side, makes our journey here feel more purposed. Anxiety melts away, replaced by resolve. Stuff Y, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, happy Twofold Tuesday, happy Yuri Day. Welcome to emotions. <laughs> welcome on in, I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's having a, a good start to the week. There she is. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm... I can't see it going badly. Because they both so desperately want things to work out. But I'm still scared. Before long, Millie points down a curved hall. I'm not used to seeing her with this kind of expression. It feels so wrong. It feels so wrong. A small shape silhouetted against a large tank, recognizable at an instant thanks to her signature hat and short stature. In the tank, bright blue water and hot pink rocks on the floor frame the dabbles of swimming color within. The fish move in slow swathes like paint on glass. Wait, please be happy, Pivot. Well, I, I am begging for everyone to please be happy here, but no, this is a Yuri game. <laughs> Caprice? She turns towards us slightly in surprise. Then, with nothing more than an adjusting of her hat, walks away in the opposite direction. Oh, I... And now, this, this, is good, this, is, this feels really horrible to say right now. But my first thought here is, and now... Now Millie knows how Caprice has been feeling this whole time, with Millie walking away from her. And that's going to make it even more painful for her. <sighs> Millie falters. That was not what I expected either. The Caprice I've met so far has been reactive, bright. The type to try every tool at her disposal before even considering walking away. But now she looked at us just long enough to register our faces and left. I glance over to Millie, who's closed her eyes to shut out any tears that may dare falling. Are you okay? After so long of trying to fix everything on her own, I... I should have expected it. I... I should leave. If you leave now, I don't think we're going to... No, no. you... Yeah. We can't. Why? She looks at me with a grim expression, but her voice doesn't even doesn't have even an ounce of animosity. Just can I try talking to her first? This is this is actually like exactly what I was about to say. Like I was going to say I think Olive needs to go over and talk to her first. To, mostly just to help Caprice realize this isn't going to make things worse. That Millie, like, doesn't want to make things worse. 
Olive being like a more neutral party here is like... Oh, I'm so glad they're here as a mediator. I am so thankful for Olive existing. I love them. Thank you for existing, Olive. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, Olive. I think it's a good idea. I just want to reach out. Moving out from her apartment, not attending any art meetings, not even responding to any messages. Yeah, Caprice desperately needs someone to actively reach out to her. Yeah, she, she needs that. That's what she needs right now. Like, I don't think anyone has actively reached out to her. Everyone is always, all like, too, too nervous about pushing too hard that nobody is actually reaching out in the way they, they should. And it's, that's actually so interesting, too, because this is the complete opposite of the situation with Millie. The problem with Millie was that people were reaching out too much and she didn't have the space that she needed. And now this situation is like almost the exact opposite. It's Caprice needs someone to push a little bit and reach out to her, but everyone wants to give her space. And that's not really what she needs the most right now, I think. That's so, that's so interesting. Oh, it's, oh. A feeling in my stomach turns. This isn't the same as what Millie was doing when she needed space. Something tells me this, this is worse. I don't know her that well, but maybe that'll be exactly why she'll give me a chance. If you're sure. Yeah. Very. I squeeze her hand, then let go, off in the direction Caprice disappeared to. Hmm. Hey. Don't. She doesn't turn around, just stares at the exhibit before her, a semi-outdoor scene dotted with fresh fallen snow and a miniature waterfall. It's just me. Don't worry. Almost like she doesn't believe me, Caprice glances back, looking at and around me for any sign of Millie. I offer a small smile. Yeah, last we saw of Caprice, she had just been told to stay out of her sister's life. Last we heard of her, she was no contact with her friends. And now, yeah, it's... It's like she... It's so... I'm I'm really worried too. It's like, it's the opposite of the Millie situation. Millie's situation was she needed space and everyone was pushing too much. Caprice's situation is she has been given space, but she needs people to push. It's, it's so, it's such a fascinating dynamic. It is such an incredible dynamic. And also I am, I want to give her such a big hug right now. I just want to give her the biggest hug. <sighs> I offer a small smile. <sighs> she doesn't walk away this time. She turns back to the glass. I walk closer to her and try to see what she sees. Before that, though, I notice something different. Blue highlights in her hair reflect the seaside vistas around her, making her appear part of the aquarium itself. I like the hair. Figured it was time for a change. It's about all I have control over anymore. Mm. Oh, ow. Oh, it makes me think of like the... Like the stereotype of like breaking up with someone and then immediately getting a haircut or dyeing your hair or something. Like... <laughs> uh. It makes it feel even worse because it's like, this doesn't have to be a breakup. This doesn't have to be a end of a relationship. It's... It, it feels like Caprice giving up and... <laughs> In the exhibit before us is pure tranquility. No signs of any fish or animals. It looks good though. I know it does. It really, really suits her. It suits her so well. It's like, it feels like that's like the right kind of hairstyle for her. It just, it's, it just feels like the worst situation. 
for it. Like, oh, my God. She does look great. Looks like the otters are staying in today. Oh, it's the otters. Of course it's... Of course it's the otters. Of course it is. Huh. That's a shame. Yeah, it is. So what do you want? Huh. She pulls her hat down a bit more to obscure her expression. She doesn't continue, but she isn't being entirely cold, either. It's in my court, then. I want to be your friend. Uh, wait, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect them to say that. I... Oh. Huh? I don't think Caprice expected them to say that either. <laughs> Obviously not a reply she expected. Caprice lifts her head and studies my face intensely. For whatever it's worth, all this time I've known both you and Millie. I wish we were better friends. I'm sorry we haven't been. Why are you of all people apologizing? I was the one who... Ugh, just... never mind. No, not just never mind. We're gonna... we're gonna... we're gonna fix this. We can fix this. It only feels worse to hear you say that. We're only acquaintances, and that's only because you're dating my best... Because you're dating Millie. During Christmas, I was acting as Millie's partner, but... We weren't actually together then. Oh, they're admitting it. I... Lie to you. Oh. Then! Meaning you're together now. Doesn't really matter if it was before yeah. the holidays or not if the end is the same, does it? No, I think it does. No offense, Olive, but I don't want to be friends just because of that. If you think you'll help her by being our mediator, it won't. Mm. It didn't work for Haley, and we've known her for a whole lot longer than you. Oh, poor Haley. But uh, at the same time, I think Olive has a little bit more tact than Haley. Like, I love Haley. I love her a lot. But I think Haley would struggle to know the right things to say. Whereas I think Olive is. A little better at, like, the sensitivity, if that makes sense. <sighs> like, even though, I, like, I say that, but, like, Haley is clearly, like, she tries her best, clearly. But I, I think Haley doesn't really know how to deal with this. I don't think she would, like, just by her nature, I don't think she'd know what to do. I'm get which is like why why Haley ended up calling Olive. Like Haley doesn't know what to do in this situation. Haley called Olive. <laughs> but I I believe in Olive. I I believe in Olive. Haley would join the writing club and then beat up Heather. Wait. That's exactly what we need to do. That's what we need to do. We need to invite Haley to the writing club. To find out what Heather's deal is. Also, Luna, hello! Welcome, welcome! Lovely to see you. I am. I love this game so much. It's so good. It's such a great game. I'm I'm feeling very intense emotions, but it's so good. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Happy Yuri Day. Huh. I believe. I believe. I... I love Millie. I want her to be happy. Huh. But I'm not talking to you because I'm trying to fix her problems. I want to talk to you as a friend. Millie loves you. Even when you're fighting. No one wants you out of their lives. Her, least of all. Mm. Alright, it's really amazing. Played through it three times already. Oh, I'm 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 loving it so much so far. Like I'm I'm only I'm not even halfway through. I'm doing Millie's route and I've not done Caprice's route before. So like this is this is my first my first route in the game and I'm oh I I didn't expect it to be this incredible like <laughs> like I knew it was going to be good I didn't expect it to hit me this hard like in personal ways like there's there are so many moments like I I don't talk about all of my personal life on stream because there are some things that I do want to keep to myself that I don't want to just share with the world 
but I will say there's a lot of stuff in this that has hit me. It's hit very close to home for me, incredibly close to home. And it's also helped me realize things about my own feelings too, which is wild to think about. Like, as I've been playing this, I've been realizing, oh, actually, I'm suddenly realizing that I feel like this because of this. And I, I, <laughs> I don't know how long it would have taken me to realize that without playing this. So that's, that's wild as well. It's so interesting. Oh, thank you for the head pat. It's so, it's so good. It's such a good game. I'm... Uh... I don't know how to articulate it. It's a feeling more than anything concrete. A jump of logic born out of the little I know about Caprice and how Christmas went. Hiding in the aquarium and making herself as sparse as possible to friends and family al alike. I can only assume she's trying to make less problems for everyone, misguided as it is. She just wants to talk to you. If you don't want to, that's okay. <laughs> I just wanted you to know she's here. Oh, I'm t uh, twofold is really, really good, it turns out. I know, right? I'm <laughs> it was so worth the wait in me playing it. It it's taken so long for me to get around to this, but I I'm so glad I'm I'm finally here. I finally made it. It's been so worth the wait. It's just I feel like everything involved with Studio Elan and Bell House and everything that's like picked up under those umbrellas is just so wonderful. So wonderful. I'm. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'll go talk to her. She's smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. See, that's better. That's how it should be. That's that's how it should be. That that right there. That right there. I want to protect it. I want to see it grow up big and strong. I want to protect it. I want to make sure it's nurtured. I want its crops to grow. I <laughs> uh... Thank you, Ollie. <laughs> Ollie? I pause slightly at that, using a nickname I've only heard from my mom. Caprice stretches a bit and adjusts her hat, turning to leave. Do you want to go alone? Nah. It'd be nice to have a friend there. For both of us. Yes. Oh, just imagining now, just imagine like, a, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And there's just a tiny chibi olive in my hands. <laughs> Please, someone draw that. Please, someone draw that. <sighs> I turn to follow, but not before noticing the informational sheet for the exhibit, the one Caprice was standing in front of. Ollie the Otter. <laughs> ah. Thanks, Ollie. <laughs> Millie sits on a bench nearby where I left her. As we round the corner, she notices us out of the corner of her eye and stands, looking even more nervous than before. Hey, Millie. Hi, Olive. C Caprice? Olive said you wanted to talk to me. Yeah. I, I, I do. I, I... Millie takes a long breath, squaring her shoulders back. I take the opportunity to stand somewhere close, but not in the middle, giving them space. Are... are you okay? <laughs> okay? No, Mills, I'm not. I've been trying so hard to understand you, and now you want to swoop in and be the good guy? No. I'm not trying to... 
I did my best. I just wanted to show you that the marriage was going to be a good thing, to show you how happy we could be as a family. She needs to say this, Millie. Millie, please. I... Millie had her chance to get everything out. Caprice needs her chance to get everything out. I just really hope Millie can let her. Do you know how much it hurts to have your best friend just shut you out of her life? Mm. I'm starting to. I can't understand what I'm doing wrong if you won't tell me. That's all I wanted. I'm sorry that I'm too much and too excited and too me, but I just wanted you to be happy. Oh, Caprice, please don't say that. I'm sorry. I just... I don't want you to think that all of this is your fault. I need you to understand that what you were offering me was exactly what I didn't want. What did you want, then? I needed to be sad, Caprice. I needed to be able to grieve and know that it was okay. Every single time I've brought my mom up, it's like everyone changes the subject just to cheer me up. Uh. Mm. I... I had to, Millie. I had to try to make this work for all of us. I couldn't... Our parents are so happy together. They've sacrificed so much for raising us and always putting us first. Shouldn't they be allowed to be married with us by their side as a family? We were already a family. Mm. <sighs> that can't be the only reason. I... I didn't want the marriage because I was afraid of replacing the few memories I have left of my mom with yours. Mm. I'll never be able to walk into the kitchen and see my mom at the table drinking tea ever again. I'll never be able to come home and have her waiting there for me with a hug. When I realized I couldn't remember details about her anymore, I was scared. With the painting, it... It made me afraid that everyone else is forgetting her, too. It breaks my heart that I love you and Charlie so much. I'm so excited to have you in my life. I want to move forward. It hurts to do that, but I need to feel that pain. I need to accept it. I am so proud of Millie right now. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I really, I really feel like a proud parent right now. I'm just, I'm... <laughs> you wanted to protect me from it, I know. It just made it harder for me, made it all too loud and, and too much at once. I'm so sorry I didn't have the words for this earlier. I'm glad she has them now. <laughs> this is gonna make you cry again. I'm. I, this is the second time this stream I've cried. I'm. I'm crying again. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. I love this game so much. You've always been my sister, Caprice. I didn't need you to prove it. <laughs> Caprice clutches her shirt tighter, folding over slightly with each and every word. She opens her mouth to speak several times. I... Tears spill over. Carefully, Millie reaches out. Her arms barely touch Caprice's, and then Caprice launches at her sister, throwing herself into her arms and hugging as tight as she can. I'm sorry, too. Mm. This, is... this is what I was waiting for. I'm... Millie holds her, and everything she was holding back escapes too, crying into her shoulder. I love how she's like, leapt forward so quickly that her hat's flown off. I, I do love that. Uh. Backlit by the ocean, the two stand there. Any other words they could have said melting away. I'm, I'm sorry. 
This is what I was hoping for. This is what I was hoping for. Uh. Oh, I'm so... I'm so glad. I'm... I feel like I'm I'm just I oh, Millie did such a good job there. Millie, I'm You can really see how she's grown as a person from the first Millie we met, the the very avoidant Millie to this moment here like figuring things out, finding the right words, wanting to fix things. I'm I'm so I'm so proud. I'm, I'm so proud. I pick up Caprice's hat from the ground and look out into the water. Time passes. After a few more moments, I hear shuffling as Caprice and Millie separate, sniffling loudly. Oh yes, yeah, so sorry. Sorry, I'm here too. Um. <laughs> Caprice starts looking around the ground, muttering under her breath about her hat. Meekly, I offer it to her, and she takes it from my hands with a polite smile. With Millie in the middle and Caprice and I on either side, the three of us slowly make our way to the entrance of the aquarium again. Drink. Occasionally, one of us stops to comment on a fish or exhibit, a small attempt at finding a footing of normalcy again. A little bit at a time. It's it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while to get back. I was gonna say to get back to normal. It's normal is going to change, I think. It's the kind of thing where like everyone talks about, oh yeah, let's get back to normal now, but if big things happen the baseline normal is going to change. Like, things are never going to be that normal again, but you can find a new normal. And I think that's very powerful to remember as well. The exit in sight makes all three of us come to a stop, standing together. So, um, Dad and Charlie wanted to go out to dinner tonight. All together, if you're up for it. Oh. What? Really? Oh. Oh my goodness, it, her voice, like, it, the happiness. Oh, oh, there was a lot of concern about Olive not being an active part of the resolution. But you thought it would feel so dishonest to the situation and characters if Caprice and Millie didn't handle things themselves. Oh, I can, I can understand that concern, but I, I think it works so perfectly. It's like, this is a... This is a situation where, like, this wouldn't have happened if Olive wasn't playing a part. Like, Olive needed to be part of this resolution. It wouldn't have happened without them. But uh, I guess I can understand from, like, a, oh, this is protagonist, but protagonist is not involved in this scene. I guess I can kind of understand that. But uh, I, I think it's okay for the protagonist to sometimes stand back and let things happen. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. In fact... I really like it. I like this opportunity to be more of an like an observer in this situation, like still involved but not like in involved, if that makes sense. I feel like I could word this better if it wasn't like 30 degrees in my room at the moment, but it's I I really like the dynamic in Two Fold. I think it's it's something that works so well for the story that is told. It would be such a different story experiencing it from Millie or Caprice's perspective and I don't think it would have the same kind of effect if they were the protagonist like I, I think Olive being the protagonist works so well it makes the story work perfectly I, I'm, I'm a big fan I'm a big fan of it <sighs> I mean of course I am yes absolutely yes oh, oh you can hear the you can just hear the joy in her voice. Oh, yeah. That's that's my kids. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. Millie looks over at me, a smile on her face. You're invited too, of course. Oh, family. 
I'll sit this one out, actually. Yeah. I'm going to see if my mom wants to get dinner together. Let me know how it goes, though. Oh, yeah, I think that's the right decision here. I think they they need that immediate family dinner. I think they need this. Good old Olive. And I'm really happy that Olive's going to have dinner with their mom as well. <laughs> Dark Souls message, Caprice restored. It's <laughs> exactly what it is. Oh, I wish I still had, like, the link for that text generator. I would generate it and just stick it over her right now. I'll do it afterwards. Post-production, be like, okay, Caprice restored. We're fine. We're fine. Quick, someone find a bonfire. <laughs> if you're sure, mm -hmm. I, I think it'll go a lot better than last time, which I'm... I'm sorry for, again. Like, to be fair, last time did go decently as well. The only reason it didn't work out was because there was still so much unresolved conflict. But I think that's... they've... I think they're resolving that conflict now. I don't think that's going to be a problem again. It's time for wilder family gatherings in the future. Oh, wider. Wider. I read it as wilder. <laughs> Wild and wide. But yeah, I, th I think this is very important to give them this first dinner as just the immediate family unit. It's important. But yeah, there's plenty more in the future. Fire in the aquarium? Yeah, exactly. There's, there's water so it, it won't spread out of control if anything happens. <laughs> I'm sorry again, too. It's always so hard knowing like they mean the best. Like there's no ill intentions and that's why it hurts so much. I know, it's just that I kind of started it, so... But I... Maybe you two should take a break in apologies for today. <laughs> just be like, okay, let's agree that you both started it. Right. <laughs> a good point. Anyway, it wasn't all bad. I got a pretty cool friend out of it all, you know? Oh? And who would that be? they say, adjusting their glasses. We shuffle out of the aquarium and into the cold. Or it would be cold. The sun is shining outside, leaving the afternoon surprisingly warm. Caprice bounds ahead towards Millie's car. I call shotgun. I haven't had a ride in the old Junie in months. <laughs> She's so excited. Cold is right. I hope she isn't too excited when she hears how clunky the gear shift is. I don't think anyone but you would notice that kind of thing. Do you want to ride? I'm not sure. Oh. I think it'd be good if you two could have some quality time. Yeah, me too. We have all the time in the world for that. Oh, and Olive? Millie takes my hand in hers. She laces our fingers together, carefully and one by one. Taking a step closer, she rests her head against mine. You'll come to the wedding, right? As my uh, plus one? Yeah. Oh. I have to withhold a laugh. Putting, uh, pulling Millie's hand into both of mine, I nod. I'll be there. I kiss her, reaching up slightly on my tiptoes to reach her. <laughs> I love height difference. I love you. We'll see each other later, right? Yeah. Of course. Well, they do kind of live together, so... I don't think Millie would just immediately resolve all of this and then move back to the old apartment without any of her stuff. <laughs> hand in hand, we head towards the car, where Caprice waves at us from the passenger seat. It'd be wrong to say everything is fine now that the two won't have more work ahead of themselves, more work to understand one another better. Millie is right, though. They have all the time in the world. There are many more days ahead of happiness and love to be shared. Many nights of tears and struggles. As friends, as sisters, as family, I know they'll make it through. All of us will face tomorrow in our own ways, at our own pace. <sighs> oh, 
Two weeks later. <gasps> Ooh. The setting sun casts long shadows as I head out of the sciences building, starting the long walk to the bike rack. The morning's frightfully cold chill has given way to a mild, cool afternoon. All the better for the ride home. The last few days have been chaotic in a way I thought I'd left behind once I'd finished my exams. Everything is out of my control, but oddly enough, it feels like that's for the best. Groups of students chat happily around me. It feels like a weight has been lifted off everyone's shoulders, with the end of college now in sight for those of us in our final semester. I wish I could say I feel sure of what's going to happen next, but I can't. Yet, I'm a little more comfortable with that than I used to be. Where stepping out of education and into the real world once felt like an event horizon I couldn't see past, now I realize there's plenty of others going through just the same thing. Hi. As I pass the parking lot, I spot the now familiar sight of Millie leaning against her car, checking her phone for one reason or another. I'd been giving Millie some space since she moved back in with Caprice and Haley, but it's good to see her again. I approach with a wave as she puts her phone away, and she's quick to return the gesture. <sighs> oh my goodness, rat! Hello! Welcome, welcome! Thank you for the 16-month resub! Welcome, welcome! Happy Yuri Day! Happy Yuri Day! Welcome, it's Twofold Tuesday! I've already cried twice! Twofold, two cries, Tuesday. <laughs> welcome, welcome! I hope you're doing well! Thank you so much for the resub. I guess the text-to-speech just doesn't want to work. But thank you! Thank you for the Leary love! Welcome! Welcome to the, the very end of Millie's route at the moment. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope things are going well. What time even is it for you? Is it like super, super early? Slash late? Not sure. Oh, doing great. Oh, trying to sleep. Oh, oh I hope you can get some sleep soon. Maybe I can be like a, a comforting bedtime story. I'll read you a bedtime story. This is the story about Olive and Millie. Look how happy they are. Look how worked out things are. It's great. But oh, thank you for stopping in though. Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you can get some rest soon. I hope you can sleep well. I know how awful it is when you're, when you're awake and like, like at the time of day when other people are waking up. It always feels so awkward. It's just like, oh, please, please let me get some sleep. <laughs> I hope you can. Uh, oh, Rika! Gonna go hit the road now! Good luck! Good luck with the driving! I hope it all goes well. I hope the journey isn't too terrible. Thank you for stopping in! Thank you for lurking. I hope you have a... a pleasant journey. <laughs> as pleasant as it can be. But thank you for being here. Thank you for lurking. Fancy seeing you here. Waiting for the others? Caprice has got her club today, so just Haley. It's only been a couple of, it's only been a couple days, earning a snort of amusement from her. I'm just glad to see her smiling, no matter how small it may be. Enjoying the quiet back at home again? It's been fine, but I have to admit I miss my old roommate a bit. Yeah, Mr. Mo. <laughs> I'm sure she'd be happy to visit. All you'd have to do is ask. Mm -hmm. I was talking about <laughs> Mo. Grey minds, grey minds. I would have also made that joke. <laughs> I would have made the same joke. I'm so glad. <laughs> pout. Pokes that cheek. She gives me a comically over-exaggerated pout, but it quickly melts away as she leans in for a quick kiss. When she pulls away, she removes her glasses and produces a cleaning cloth from her coat pocket. How's life back at the apartment, anyway? Been going okay? 
I wish I could say it was like I never left, but after so long, you definitely feel like a stranger in your own home sometimes. Yeah, that's gonna be weird for a while, I think. She finishes wiping down her glasses, placing them back on. Cloth still in hand, she gestures for my glasses next. Yours got fogged up too, don't even pretend otherwise. <laughs> Olive with no glasses! Bah, 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 bah. Unable to think of a counter-argument in the three or so seconds she allows me, I hand them over without a word of protest. We're going to be okay. Finally having everyone on the same page has done a lot, but we still have some lingering awkwardness to get through. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. But yeah, I love that everything's gotten blurrier as they take their glasses off. It's, <laughs> it's such a great touch. <laughs> There we go, back to normal. They can see again now. She finishes her cleaning, gently placing my glasses back on for me. The first thing I see with my newfound clarity is her soft smile. <laughs> Everyone has the same brain cell. It's true. Everyone notices the important stuff. It's good. It's good to be on the same wavelength. <laughs> That's good to hear. I've been worried. I know it was your idea to dissolve it, but the club was a pretty recent wound, so... I'm still in shock about what happened, really. Yeah. You and me both. I knew Darren cared, but I didn't expect him to take things to that extreme. <laughs> Millie fiddles with her braid. A gesture I've learned is something she does without thinking when she's stressed. She does have a few tells, as cunning as she is. Worried? About what? You know, what he's taken on isn't an easy job, especially with the state of the riding club right now. Yeah. Maybe that's for the best. He's practically starting fresh, so it won't have the baggage it's had for years. He can make the club into what he thinks is best. So true. After all, a club is nothing more than a group of people who share a common interest and like being around each other. How dare you quote that back at me? She shoots me a sly grin. All that making us promise to not talk and then Caprice turns around and does it herself? Hey, <laughs> sorry if this is weird or forward to say. But? But I'm really happy to see things working out for you again. You deserve it. Me too. I'm so happy too. I'm so, so happy. I'm so glad. The honest words hit home for her. The honest words hit home for her, pursing her lips tightly to steady herself as she silently nods. I think she would have liked you. Oh. Huh? Who? Olive, please. Mom. Yeah? What makes you think that? Be because you're great. Because <laughs> you're great. It's, it's all, it's all there is to it. You're, you're, you're just a lovely person. Of course, of course she'd like you. Like, <laughs> mm, a hunch. She smiles a wide smile, and what a smile it is. It makes all my worries about the future disappear. I'm not sure exactly what lies ahead of me, but I know now that I'll have her beside me for whatever might come. Do you want to ride home today? I'd love to, but I've got a couple small errands to run. I wouldn't want you to ferry me around. We should make some plans to get together for the weekend yes. then. I haven't exactly been the most romantic the last few days. It's okay, it's understandable. Date weekend. You've been fine. Better than fine. Yeah, you, you've been fine. You, if you know what I mean, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Just in love. I'm really quite awful, you know. Oh, she keeps saying she's awful. She's not as awful as she thinks she is. She's she's very good at saying that she's the bad guy. I want to build that confidence up. Also, Hikari, hello. Welcome, welcome. How am I doing today? I'm doing alright. I'm very warm. It is extremely warm here. And I am melting. 
but I'm having a great time playing True Bolt. I love this game. I hope you're doing well as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the worst. Just dreadful. Dreadful, awful person. She giggles and pulls me in for a parting kiss. Well, every good story does need an antagonist, after all. <laughs> oh, look at the lovebirds. They can't keep their hands off each other. <laughs> this feels so good to see. Hi! <laughs> I love the way she's, she, she jumps over. She's just like, boing, boing. Hi! Caprice bounces out of the entrance, making a kissy face and obnoxious wet noises to accompany it. Haley is following not far behind, smartly keeping her distance. <laughs> the gremlin appears. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> I love just like every story needs an antagonist and Caprice pops up like, hi. <laughs> hi, you want some antagonizing? <laughs> Millie flowers into a scarlet blush. <laughs> and it's so easy to embarrass Millie too. It's, 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 it's such a sibling relationship between them. Like every sibling relationship like this, like just embarrassing each other. It's how me and Xander react as well. We're, we're just here like, we are each other's biggest antagonists whilst getting along really, really well. <laughs> Oh, doing good, just chilling at home. Gotta do some things in the yard, but it, oh, it's hot for you too. Yeah, it's super hot here as well. I've been struggling so much with the heat. It's over 30 degrees Celsius in my room right now, but I'm surviving. I have drinks. I have drinks. I have my fan on. I may have to turn that up in a little bit. I think I will turn my fan up once I'm done with the main route, but it's going well. I'm still doing well. I'm still surviving. What do you want, Caprice? <laughs> Two things. Oh? One, to brag about how I am, once again, the ultimate matchmaker. Oh, wait. Yeah, she's... Because she was involved with Allison and Eileen, too. That's so funny. Okay, ne next, next you got to find someone for Wallace to date. <laughs> oh, Haley. Haley and Wallace? No, I don't think that would work. I... <laughs> what? You had absolutely nothing to do with... And two, to ask you two where you think you're going. Oh? Um, home was the plan as soon as Haley showed up. Haley doesn't react to her name in the slightest, to absolutely no one's surprise. Millie looks to me for confirmation. A quick grocery run and then home for me, too. And how exactly do you expect the art club to function without its co-lead and her partner in crime? I should have seen this coming. I'm a little ashamed to admit I did not see this coming. How did I not see this coming? Of course Caprice has roped them into the art club. They're not in a club anymore. They're not in a club anymore. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known. Millie looks just as puzzled as me. Clearly getting no answers there. I turn to Haley instead, who shrugs. Turns out I'm part of the art club. <laughs> as of ten minutes ago. Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm... Oh. I appreciate the gesture, but I'm not much of an artist, I'm afraid. Uh, art comes in many forms. Creative writing is an art. It's a broad spectrum. Yeah. Creative writing falls under the umbrella easy peasy. Yeah, it's it's just the, the creative club. The regular art club is just dedicated to stuffy old paintings and nothing else. This is the creative art club with every aspect of art. Clearly. <laughs> well... Culinary arts. <laughs> oh, she really has thought of everything. This is great. This is great. Of course she's thought of everything. It's Caprice we're talking about. Also, Happy Sarah Yuri Cat, Day. hello. Happy Yuri Day to you too. Thank you so much for the resub for 20 months. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Happy Yuri Day. Everyone's in the art club now. Everything is an art. 
we've got creative arts, we've got culinary arts, we've got like music, music is an art. Every, everyone's in the art club now. I am also in the art club. You are also in the art club. We're all in the art club now, sorry. You don't have a choice in the matter. You have just been signed up to the art club. Welcome. <laughs> but hello, hello, welcome. And Vast Soot, hello, welcome in. Women Wednesday, well, it's it's uh, Twofold Tuesday at the moment. Although I guess it is Wednesday in some places now. With time zones, it, it is technically Women Wednesday in some parts of the world, so it, it does count. But welcome, welcome. Welcome on in, you joined at a great time. We are all in the art club. <laughs> She had that locked and loaded, huh? Look, that stuck on me. It stuck on my head. Um, um. I can't eat the heart. It'll vanish in a sec. There it goes. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the country of lesbian. Yeah, that that sounds about right. But thank you for following too. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. And oh, Sarah Cat, resub even though you've got Twitch Turbo because you love me. Thank you. Thank you. It is so appreciated. I really appreciate it. it. It means you get to use all of the emotes. You get all of the Liri emotes. It's not just about the ad free viewing. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She had that locked and loaded, huh? Yeah, she, she planned this. She fully planned this out. We're, we're the, the creative club now. <laughs> She pulled the same thing on me, if it makes you feel better. Yeah. I figured it was something like that. Yeah. Oh, I love Caprice. She's so good. The best emotes. I'm glad you think so. I, I really love my emotes. I feel like I got, I've gotten so lucky to have such an incredible, such incredible artist friends to provide everything for me. <laughs> it's so good. But yes, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support a lot. It means a lot. Thank you. But uh, welcome on in. I'm just at the end of Millie's route at the moment. I I love it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy things have turned out this way. It's sweet of you, Caprice. Really, but you don't have to... Millie, if you're going to let me into your family, then at least let me share mine with you too. Please? Oh, oh that... that that's so cute. Wait. I love that line. The three of us look to Millie for her answer. She knows that I'll follow her, no matter what her decision may be. Do it. Do it. You know you want to. Meet you there. Yes! Yeah! We're all in the art club now. Caprice looks like she's about to explode in excitement as her smile triples in size. Okay, yes, take your time. Come on, Haley. we gotta let the others know. Hold on, I... <laughs> and she's gone. Before Haley can finish, Caprice runs off in a mad sprint. With a heavy sigh, Haley turns to Millie, an out-of-character smile replacing her typical resting neutral face. Ugh, there's really no stopping her when she gets an idea in her head. Yeah, yeah, we know that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things about her. Yeah, same. Uh, Haley, you're taking forever! Caprice shouts across the campus, jogging in place like she's training for, for a triathlon. Better get going. See you in a few. Yeah, see you soon. And with that, she turns to follow her friend at the same slow pace she originally met with us. Oh, that she originally met us with. I'm not running, Caprice. <laughs> we stand there for a while until both are out of sight. Whether due to hesitation or simply trying to process the conversations that just happened is something only Millie really knows. So, ready to go? Ready as I'll ever be. Uh Graduation might be just around the corner, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, it looks like another chapter in our lives is just starting. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Ah. It feels like it's been a while since I've seen us really smile. I'm glad to oh. have you here. Hold on, I Oh my goodness! Did she draw that? Did she draw that? Oh, I love that. Aww. Sorry, what, what a great username. That... <laughs> I love this so much. It doesn't need to be today. So oh, what a, what a need to step away. So full the page and save your place. A pristine book is such a waste. Creases, tears, and rips and stains. Fingers and a rough and nervous She does like writing. She does like writing. I want to know her deal. I, I need to know her deal. to embarrass Millie. Thank you, Python, for Rampai. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so lovely. This is so lovely. Oh, spicy food. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm off to the right. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I like that, that the little action marks position themselves perfectly to be right by my head there. Oh, two months later. It's not the end. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, hold on. I'll, I'll turn the game volume down back to where it was. I just wanted to turn it up for the... the the credits music. <laughs> the myriad of colours presented by the flowers and trees mixed with the, fre the smell of freshly cut grass. It painted the picture of a perfect spring day, a world apart from the dreary winter that only recently made its long overdue exit. Where could they be? Olive shoved their phone back into their pocket for the third time in the past half hour. The four had agreed to meet early, but as the seconds continued to tick by, Olive was losing more and more confidence in that happening. Elsewhere, the sisters were still getting ready. <laughs> Happy Yuri Day. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's warm in game so I can be immersed again, truly. Truly, no longer winter. We're going to be late. Haley shouted down the hall, with only the muffled sounds of her roommates finishing their preparations answering her. In the dressing room, Caprice's foot tapped in hurried anticipation. Is it almost done? Millie continued to fiddle with her hair. 
you're not exactly giving me a lot to work with here. Millie sighed, letting another failed attempt fall from her hands. Caprice's last minute request was a surprise, but one Millie was more than happy to honor. A simple braid in her hair, a small reminder of Adelaide to bring along to the wedding. <laughs> A style Millie proudly wore for just over a year, and one she decided to wear today again as well. Caprice's hair, however, was not as eager to cooperate with the request, its length proving an impossible hurdle to overcome. Millie was all too aware of the time continuing to pass them by, and with a frustrated sigh admitted defeat. The original plan wasn't going to happen, but she was determined to do something, if only to justify all the time spent on it this morning. <gasps> One more try, this time much smaller in size, tied across her head rather than hanging loose. It wasn't what she wanted, but it was better than nothing. This, this feels really symbolic to me. It's like remembering the past, but still embracing the change and the future as well it's like you don't have to completely forget things to still bring them along with you in a different way i, I... what do you think oh it's so pretty it's so pretty also i i've got to say as well i really love the mixtures of like the the red and the green and the blue with the highlights in the art for this. This art is so beautiful. I love this. Millie raised a small mirror in front of Caprice, half hoping she simply wouldn't answer. It's perfect! Caprice jumped to her feet and hugged her sister tightly, leaving Millie no time to process her response. Really? Mm. What do you mean, really? It's a nice small reminder, but it still feels like me. <laughs> Millie returned Caprice's hug, holding her close for all but a moment before setting her loose. I'm ready to go if you are. Millie returned her eyes to the mirror still in her hand, the large braid she had become so accustomed to tying every day taking up most of the view. Time was of the essence, they were already running late, and yet... She's gonna change hers as well, isn't she? I'm... I need a few more minutes, if that's okay. Oh. Let Haley know I won't be long. A few minutes passed, and a few more. Olive had shifted from a mild annoyance to a deep concern. Why would they be taking this long? Did something happen? Did Millie lose her nerves? Surely if something bad had happened, Haley would have let them know by now? <laughs> a small pat on the back was enough for Olive to be jolted back to reality and their heart to jump into their throat. Olive didn't need to turn around to place the voice, but after waiting for so long, they wanted the confirmation. Sure enough, Caprice was there to greet them, with Haley besides. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Sup. Where were you? I was really starting to get worried. Don't look at me. I've been waiting for a while. Haley replied with a shrug. Olive turned to Caprice for an explanation, who responded with a sheepish grin. Oh, you know how things go sometimes. The point is, we're all here now, right on time. All? Where, where's Millie? The timing Caprice boasted about was debatable, Olive thought. Actually, that wasn't the only thing. If everyone's here, where's Millie? Talk of the wedding had been more frequent from her these past few weeks. Olive hoped that meant she would show today, but they had also been preparing for the worst. Caprice's unwavering smile was early evidence that they had nothing to worry about. As if on cue, Millie emerged from the modest crowd, greeting Olive with a small hug. Sorry, I was just putting some things away and locking the car up. Her tone was flustered, 
and Olive knew her well enough to expect her to play with her braid as she tried to write herself afterward. If it was still there, that is. While a braid remained in her hair, it was now just a small strand. The rest of her hair now freed, uh, freed too, instead, uh, freed to instead be tied in the back with a simple hair clip. Oh, I love half-up hairstyles. I, I really love this. This is it's such a nice way to remember without, like, being stuck. Like, to accept the memories and keep them with you as you move on, but still adapt and change, and... Oh, I... I, I love this. You look great. <laughs> this art is so beautiful. As a smile found its way back to Olive's face, Millie averted her eyes as a blush started to form on hers. Oh my goodness, I'm chibi. Braid is small and so am I. <laughs> Thank you for the chibi redeem. Hello. Thank you for the head pad too. Happy, happy wedding time. I'm, I'm, I, I love this game so much. This is so sweet. This is so lovely. As a smile found its way back to Olive's face, Millie averted her eyes as a blush started to form on hers. You think so? I struggled a lot with the hair. I was thinking of wearing it like this from now on, actually. It really suits her. She should. She should. It suits you perfectly. Don't change a thing. Yes, it does. Millie had her doubts. It may have suited her in this moment, but as she had come to realize, change was an inevitable thing. After so long wearing the same style and feeling the same feelings, what would suit her best once this moment had passed? and Millie had to focus on herself again. Something more comfortable, maybe. Oh, I'm so glad. As the four finished their greetings and shuffled to find their seats, Millie played with her braid for the only, for the only time that day. Adelaide's presence in her life may be smaller than before, but it was still there, and that was enough. After endless cold and cloudy days, the start of a new chapter was penned underneath a pristine blue sky. <laughs> Two women started the day as friends and ended it as sisters. Separate yet undeniably together, their stories were written on opposite sides of the same piece of paper. <laughs> Twofold. Finished Millie's epilogue! Something old, something new. Ah! You've unlocked the following extras. Yay! Yay! I did it! Spring UI theme, a toggle it on under styling. Scene select and CG gallery. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Thank you for playing. We hope you'll consider joining the art club next. Click to return to the main menu. There's no way I'm not joining the art club next. I, I mean, I'm, I already joined the art club. <laughs> I owe it to myself to see this through. Oh, thank you for the hydrate as well. <gasps> There's a flower. There's a flower. There's a flower. There's a flower. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I, I love this. Thank you for the hydrate. Let me have a sip. Have a sip of my drink. Thank you for the hydrate. Having not known me outside of retweets before twofold streams, you can say the spring UI was <laughs> retroactively made for me specifically. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for making a theme for me. So is it extras? Options. Oh, styling. <gasps> Custom. Spring. Spring theme. And I have unlocked extras now. Oh, and then there's more that unlocks with both paths. So one path is the UI, UI theme scene select gallery. More when I do the next one. And then question marks. Anyway, anyway, anyway. 
Uh, look at that, it's all the CGs, they're all here. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so glad for the scene select. I love games that do this. Thank you. And Jukebox. We got like the... This song is so pretty. It's so pretty. I can't wait to see Caprice's credit scene as well now. Oh, oh. Oh, it's so nice. Huh. Back. Back. Oh, I, I love this game so much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we did the Millie route. Woo! And so now I'm thinking, before I jump into Caprices, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to start Caprices today. I'm going to save that for next week when it's not... Uh, 30.4 degrees Celsius in my bedroom. <laughs> but what I do want to do is I want to go back to to this moment. I want to go all the way back here and try either Tanya or Heather. And I'll just like I'll skip through the game until we get new dialogue. And then we'll 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 figure out what's the deal with Tanya and Heather. So what I'm going to do is we're going for good old democracy again. I'm going to put a poll up so we can decide which one we do first, but I, I, I want to see if I can do both of them. I think I should be able to. Hopefully. Because what time is it? It's not even five yet. I think I could do both. But uh, I'm going to do a poll to see if we go for Tanya or Heather first. Wouldn't it be funny if I put all three in the poll and everyone just voted Darren again? <laughs> I would. But hi, Lan! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in! Happy Yuri Day! Happy Twofold Tuesday! Yeah. It's only four scenes across all acts. Yeah, I was like, I was trying to think of like the times I saw Darren in the story. So I think it's definitely quite, quite doable, even with my, <laughs> my leisurely pace when I'm playing visual novels. <laughs> all right, let me, let me get a poll sorted. See how this goes. Let's hope you don't tired again bum, bum, bum. let's do it for a minute okay I've started the poll I've I've lost the button to make it show up on screen how do I make it show up on screen there it is there we go here's the poll we got two votes for Tanya and one for Heather at the moment Three for Tanya, two for Heather. It's looking very even at the moment. It's looking very even. It's not looking even anymore. Oh, no, no, it is. Never mind. I, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I feel like everyone's trying to make it die again. <laughs> oh, the chance the UI theme defaulted back to default since it's saved in the ah in the save files yeah I'll, I'll i'll double check that at least i can just change that from the menu of course you did of course you did you little you little monsters you little monsters of, of course you made it tie again all right i guess it's time to get the old d20 out <laughs> all right here we go odds is tanya evens is heather let's see you it's a nine Nine is odd. What did I say is odds? Odds is Tanya. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're starting with Tanya and then leaving Heather till last. That actually seems quite, quite funny to me. But uh, thank you. Thank you for tying the poll again. Very appreciated. <laughs> I could have broken the tie myself. I didn't vote, but uh, it's okay. We let, we let the die decide instead. We're going for Tanya. Bum 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 bum. Spring! <gasps> spring! It's spring! On 
second glance, it appears Tanya's inhaled most of her first muffin. Chocolate chip by the looks of it. Drawing a questioning look from her friend as I walk over. Why? I skipped lunch today. Didn't your mother tell you not to talk with your mouth full? Yeah, Tanya. Oh, <laughs> you should just wait with your vote. <laughs> no, but the thing is, I feel like this people, like, holding their votes in case it, like, unties at the end to tie it again. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, <laughs> uh, by the way, you remember a few months ago I was talking about how I like keeping books as well kept as possible and you just casually quoted the ending theme of Twofold? How dare you? How dare you? That's, that's great. That is great. <laughs> That's so sneaky. Also, yeah, chocolate chip muffin sounds really nice right about right about now. I would I would like a muffin. I like chocolate chip muffins. Good thing my mother isn't here right now, huh? <laughs> you could at least chew it before trying to shove it down your throat. I guess I should take it as a compliment. Yeah, they're good muffins. Also, I am back to normal now. Thank you for the chibi redeem though. <laughs> The braid was small, and so was I. You work at a diner, right, Olive? I'm surprised to hear you've picked up cooking as a hobby outside of that. Hmm. Uh, cooking at home is an entirely different experience than working the menu at the diner. So I don't really feel the burnout you might expect. It's good you found something you like so much. A lot of people uh. struggle to find that kind of niche in life. Oh, tell me about it. I, d I didn't I didn't really have one until I started streaming. I <laughs> I struggled to find my niche, but I found my niche now and I am so comfortably perched in it. I love this niche. It's my favorite. <laughs> That's a surprisingly positive spin on just doing something because it's all I really know. I really love this. I'm so happy. For all I admire that kind of outlook, I can't help but wonder whether it's truly gotten her. Uh, where it's truly gotten her. I, I, was, I confused myself for a second then. The contrast of the perfectly organized room to the club members latching onto the first distraction they found couldn't be clearer. Thinking better of outright saying that, I decide to address something I've been noticing for a while. Hey, speaking of interests and hobbies, what's with the get up anyway, Tanya? I'm just realizing I never asked. Oh yeah. Tanya looks down, her well-used overalls ill-fitting compared to the otherwise smart clothes of the rest. Oh, these? I have a welding class just before the club meets. Not much point changing out of them, so I just chuck the welding gear in the truck and hop back over. Makes sense. Weren't you wearing them during the bookstore visit? Well, it looks comfy. Mm, it's a matter of efficiency. Uh-huh. <laughs> Always liked fiddling with metal and mechanical stuff back home, so I ended up taking all the relevant courses I could. Nice. You two sure are different. Maybe not as much as you think. Been a set since high school. Met as the only two girls in the auto shop class. Oh, that makes so much sense. Good old Junebug. Good old Mike. <laughs> It's easy to imagine Tanya getting sucked into the engine of a car with this tool or that as she fiddles under the hood. But Millie's a surprise. My face must say as much, given Millie's sudden sheepishness. I have my reasons. Besides, it's nice to get my head out of books sometimes. Huh. When she said she'd been working on her car with her dad, I guess I didn't imagine it quite so hands-on. With her first muffin devoured, Tanya goes back for seconds as Millie continues to occasionally nibble at her, at her first. I, my brain passed that as nibbling at Tanya for a second, and I was so. The, 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 I'm, I'm gonna have some more water. I'm, <laughs> I got no brain anymore. Please, please don't nibble at Tanya before she goes back for seconds. Oh. Ah. Oh, I love how that works just as well as a meta joke. Yeah, it's a matter of efficiency. This way the artist won't need to draw a new sprite for. 
It makes sense though, but it, it also makes so much sense for Tanya to be like that. It'd be like me as well, like, I would be so easy to draw in a visual novel, because whenever I leave the house, I always wear like the same two outfits. I have like two outfits that I really, really love to wear, and I just alternate between them. Like, I wear one while I'm washing the other, and then I wear the other while I'm washing the first. It's like... <laughs> I don't have much variety in my wardrobe. Honestly, I, I want more clothes. I want to get loads of really nice clothes. I just can't ever find any. Or like, I'll find a nice top, but I don't have anything that will go with it, so I don't buy it. And in that case, I probably should buy it, to be honest, because then I can buy stuff that goes with it later on, but I, I never think of that at the time. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Yuri brain rot has already progressed far. No, this is the heat brain rot. The, the heat has just melted my brain, so I just don't know how to read anymore, but that's fine. It's okay, I got a fan and a bottle of water. Uh, Tanya goes back for seconds as Millie continues to occasionally nibble at her first. She seems to like them just as much, enjoying them in her own dainty way. There's quite a lot of food here. Why'd you make so many different flavors? Didn't know what you guys would like. Besides, muffins are easy because you can throw in whatever's handy for flavoring. Chocolate chips, cocoa, fruits, that sort of thing. Is this the same? Yes, it's the same. At least I hope it's the same. Hold on. I make sure I've not got like skip through. Yes, I'm not skipping through unseen text. We're good. <laughs> Just making sure. Just skip the text I've seen, please. Thank you. And while we skip ahead, I'm I'm gonna just blast my fan for a second while we're skipping. Hold on. Never mind. I just turned my fan up and we're at the next scene. Great. <laughs> I timed that so well, huh? Let me turn it down again. There we go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't help that my fan's like quite far away from me too, so I have to lean to reach over to turn it up. Oh, we're fine. I'm fine. Uh, stream with my fan blasting. Self-care. Maybe I will. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Yeah, you can definitely hear that now. <laughs> you can definitely hear it now, but I think... I think I need it. I'm gonna keep keep the fan going. It's still very quiet, at least. It's not super loud, but that feels so much better for me. I think I'm going to keep it like this. If you hear the fan in the background, it is just new ambient BGM. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Ha. Huh. That's not a fan. That's several. There's a crowd cheering in the distance. Oh my goodness, my biggest fans. Yeah, this is my biggest fan right here, I say as I point to my big tower fan at the end of my bed. <laughs> uh, don't even hear it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you can't tell. It's, it's the kind of thing where I know I, I can definitely tell that it's there. But I think because it's... It's not like a clunky fan. It doesn't make like a weird noise or anything. It's a very consistent noise. So it's... The kind of thing that's easy to zone out a little bit, I think. But also Eden Bash, hello, welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, remember when you did this, you ended up stopping the skipping halfway through at the Christmas party and everyone had turned transparent except Olive and Millie. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I guess if anyone else has a fan blasting as well, then it's just gonna like mingle with the sound of that. So I think we're fine. Not a problem. Walking into the building that houses the school machining shop, I feel a little intimidated. As unassuming as the hallway I find myself in is, lots of heavy machinery can easily be heard through the thick walls. Actually, it's, it's just in character. All these noises, any noise in the background, it's because we're at the machining shop. That's definitely it. <laughs> Compared to the prim and 
proper science building or homely and quaint arts and humanities building, the entire place feels rougher. Stealing myself, I take a quick peek in. More like a warehouse than a campus building, the occasional oil stain and grease splotch discolors the concrete floor. The occasional arc of light from the welding area in the back, combined with the loud whirring of nearby machinery, is quick to put me on edge. Kitchens might be dangerous places sometimes, sure, but at least I know what everything in a kitchen does. I channel my inner Darren and close the door without another thought. <laughs> I'll just try and find Tanya after class. It's not worth trying to navigate that nightmare. I wanted to have more time to talk to her before I had to head off to work, but I'd rather be five minutes late than try to talk over all that noise. As soon as I turn around to leave, the door opens from behind me, and out pops a student whose clothes are more oil than cloth. Hey, did you need anything? The other high. Oh, uh, if you're offering, can you see if Tanya's available to talk for a sec? It's not a big deal if she can't. If you don't know her, she's... Oh, don't worry, I know. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, the way he said that. <laughs> and with that, he's retreated back into that machine-ridden hellscape. Thankfully, it's not long before the door opens again, this time with my clubmate on the other side. The confusion on her face is replaced with a smile as she comes to realize who pulled her out of class. Yo, Olive, what brings you here? Hi! Hey, Millie let me know when best to catch you. Well, here I am. So, what's up? The ceiling. Just checking what happened. You missed a meeting yesterday. The grin doesn't leave her face, but her eyebrows do raise at my answer. You dragged me out of my class early for that? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Sorry, I told the guy it wasn't a big deal and I'd be fine with waiting. All good. It's ten minutes till the weekend. <laughs> Couldn't care less right now. Yeah. She somehow manages to find a yawn in her, despite the overwhelming noise she's presumably been in the middle of for the past two hours. So, circling back to my first question, what's all this about? Afraid I'm gonna flake out on the club? Oh, the fan is so nice. Sorry, I'm just I'm just enjoying the blast of the fan right now. I'm so warm. I'm so warm. <sighs> huh. I don't know. I feel like you're probably the one most likely to stay. Mm -hmm. But it's not hard to be paranoid, given the state of everything else. Yeah, there's a lot. So you're just doing your due diligence. I get ya. Yeah. You don't need to worry. I'm in the club for Millie's sake. I'm stuck till she graduates and not a day less. Sounds like she loves being in this club, yeah. Just wrapped up in coursework I had to get finished off, that's all. I'll make it up to her. Tanya takes a seat on one of the chairs next to the door, gesturing to the seat next to her. After the long walk over here at the end of the day and dreading the bike ride that's going to be following this, I gladly take up the offer for a rest. So, what brought you to the club anyway? Uh, failing. Also, Zariad, hello! Excuse, excuse me, uh, you were looking for Cat? I've got great news for you. I'm not full Cat, but if, you, if you're okay with Cat Girl, I'm right here. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome, welcome! Happy Yuri Day! Welcome to Twofold Tuesday! I just finished Millie's route in Twofold and I'm going through the, the friendship paths at the moment. <laughs> I told you before, didn't I? I need the tutoring to pass my exams. Is that all it was? There were a lot of clubs to choose from and that little brat was angling for you too. Who are you calling a little brat? I figured my best chance was in a club that was halfway normal. Then that, that was their first mistake. Whoops. A bit too on the nose there, Tanya. Yuri Day, and you're standing over here being a man. That's okay. That's okay. M men can still appreciate Yuri, so long as it's in a respectful manner. Like, there's, there's nothing stopping that. 
just because it's Yuri Day doesn't mean like you have to engage in Yuri like actively. What am I talking about? Like I'm. I don't know where this train of thought is going. I don't think I want to continue with it. Anyway, uh, hi. Anyway, Tanya. <laughs> I still can't get over how different you and Millie are. I'm lucky to have made it out of high school alive after some of the stuff I got up to. Maybe hitching myself to a bookworm like hers would help pull my head in a bit. Ah, uh, that would make sense. Millie's like the, the grounding force who's just like, no, Tanya, don't jump off that building. You'll get hurt. <laughs> Whereas Tanya would just be like, hi, I'm Tanya. Welcome to Jackass. No, 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 no. <laughs> what about you? I'm sure you got up to some crazy stuff in the springtime of youth. Oh, yes, yeah, so much crazy stuff. L all of it. I kept my head down, to be honest. I'm not really the adventurous type. Yeah, I can tell. My face falls flat, not helped by the hearty clap on the back in response. Lighten up. We can't all be social butterflies. The two of us are distracted by the professor's shouting from inside the room, clear as day through the door and all the noise within. While I'm more than happy to pretend to ignore the screaming, Tanya leans back with a wide smile on her face, reveling in it. Uh, by the way, as a fellow sibling haver, if I noticed how easy it is to notice when someone writing siblings in visual novels doesn't have a sibling, I don't know if I've ever had that experience. I don't I don't think I've ever had an experience where I've I've seen like siblings in a visual novel and gone like, well, I don't feel like siblings, because it's such like it's such a different thing. Like, I know people who don't even talk to their siblings. I know people who really don't get along with their siblings because they, they like, just are really different people that don't really like each other that much. And then I know other people like, like me and Xander who just get along really well, like friends as well as siblings. It's always different. It's not the kind of thing you can just say there's like a default of. So I don't think I have noticed that. It's, it's never something I've thought of, thought about. It's more like I notice when siblings are written in a way that reminds me of my brother. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, that's so real. That's what me and Xander do. <laughs> While I'm more than happy to pretend to ignore the screaming, Tanya leans back with a wide smile on her face, reveling in it. It's not difficult in the slightest to hear every word of his tirade as he rips into a student. Their mistake appears to have been not wearing their welding mask properly, as the whole room now knows. Well, it's good to be careful. It's Safety is something you cannot skimp on, especially with heavy duty machinery. Like that's, you, you do not want to slack on health and safety in a situation like that. Uh, interesting point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the kind of thing that like, I'm always aware of how different it is because it's, it's like just the term family as well. Some people like with blood relatives don't get along in the same way as other people would with blood relatives. It's, it's always different because people are different. <laughs> but yeah, safety first, always. At least they take safety seriously. Right, same, same brain cell. I would much rather have someone yelling about safety than have someone who's really lax and then have someone get hurt. Like, it's no question. No question. Ah, the old warhorse is at it again. Uh-huh. I'm starting to realize I probably shouldn't <laughs> be here. Nah, you're fine. He's a great guy once you get to know him. Just yeah. gotta stay on his good side. Yeah, just don't weld without your safety equipment properly being worn. At least you're all right to chat with. <laughs> Darren kind of keeps to himself, and I never got along with Heather. You can say that again. What's up with her? I don't get why she's in the club at all at this point. She just shrugs. <sighs> Something about her always bugged me. Hardly even pretends to try in the meets, either. As the seconds go by, the various noises around the room fill the air between us. It's easy enough to tell we're thinking the same thing. It sucks that things have gotten to this state. 
Millie does well hiding the frustration she must hold over it, but I almost wish she'd just let it out. Well, no point in dwelling. What's gone is gone. I just hope things turn around for her, given how life's treated her lately. <laughs> ah, doing this after doing the route, I'm just like, oh, oh, you have no idea. I'm not gonna get you in trouble for this, am I? The worst he can do is yell at me as I pack up my bag, then I'm out of his hair for the weekend. I get the impression Tanya's used to being yelled at. And she she just she's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Any plans? I don't do plans. I'm gonna kick back, veg out, and I'll work it out from there. Sounds like a plan to me. These girls are absolutely unmistakably nothing alike. So, you satisfied I'm not gonna bail out on you then? Yeah. Sorry for bothering no. you. Just trying my best. Oh, it poor olive no worries we'll get millie through the next semester just trust me i do trust her i'm st i'm worried but i do trust her here's hoping thank you for the hydrate let me have i'm gonna have water i'm gonna have water right now water time right and skip time now we skip until the next scene with Tanya. Blum, 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 blum. I'm guessing it'll be the diner. It was the diner. It's because Darren walked into the diner, right? Bum, bum, bum. Now we wait. Oh, is this new? My shoulders feel infinitely lighter as Millie, Haley, and I make our way back out to the front of campus. Yeah, this is new. With exams finally over and my grades officially out of my hands, the act of offloading my books back to the school felt like a hard-earned victory lap, one I was more than glad to take. Caprice didn't join us, of course she didn't, but things have felt sort of awkward even without her presence. Still, the quiet we share as we take our final stroll through the campus of the year is nice, and I'm fine with leaving it there for now. All good things must come to an end, though, and nothing serves as better proof than the sight of Tanya locking eyes with us as she finishes rummaging through her truck, textbooks in hand. Yo! Hey, three! Oh, drop off your books yet? How's the crowd in there? We just Hi. finished, actually. Good luck, there's still a line forming. Tanya's shoulders slump and her head droops. Eventually, her free hand slips into a pocket, holding a set of keys as they re-emerge. She spins right back around, opens the truck's passenger door, and throws the books haphazardly on the seat. I'll just head home and come back tomorrow or something. Mm. I've got better things to do than hover around a bookstore for an hour. Ah. <laughs> uh, mind if I go ahead? I'll get the car warmed up while you three talk. Nice. Also, I love the hoodie. Hmm? Uh, sure. Go, go ahead. Okay. okay. Millie digs out her own keys, passing them to her roommate. With a quick nod, Haley's off, ever eager to dip out of a conversation. <laughs> oh, big mood. Tanya doesn't seem offended at the act, instead wearing a big smile. Grats, Olive! All that worrying was for nothing, huh? I'll let you know the answer to that as soon as the grades actually come in. Mm. Jeez. Always the same with you. Oh! Oh? One more spin around from Tanya as she digs through her truck once more. When she turns around this time, she's holding a beer can in each hand, each shoved in mine and Millie's directions. Wait, drinking in public? It's as good a reason to celebrate as any, yeah? Just right here? Just... Do you just <laughs> keep a six-pack in your truck? What? No! What kind of woman do you take me for? The kind of woman who keeps a six-pack in her truck. 
<laughs> a small giggle from Millie. A reward well earned. The nerve of some people. No, I just went and bought some groceries before coming over. Ah, that makes sense. I don't really want to drink on campus. Thanks. Yeah. I raise a hand to my chest to refuse the offer, only for Tanya to roll her eyes and direct her attention at Millie instead. Unlike me, Millie ends up accepting the offer, taking the can from her friend. Thank you, but I'm going to have to side with Olive. I'll gladly take it home for later, if that's okay. Hey! You two were really made for each other. He. Yeah, just get a free beer. Free beer from it, don't have to drink it right now. Uh, you're having some tiramisu and you were thinking, do you think if you press the spoon hard enough against the screen, you can give me some? I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's going to work, sorry. I appreciate the offer though. <laughs> ah. Honestly, I, I kind of just want ice cream at the moment, though. It's, as soon as the stream ends, I'm going to be going downstairs. Instead of making dinner, I'm going to be getting myself ice cream. <laughs> ice cream for dinner. It's my plan. It's my post-stream plan today. I'm just going to go get ice cream. Millie's back straightens at the remark. If the cold wasn't already causing it, I'm sure a blush would be starting to form, speaking from experience. I'm not drinking anything before I drive home, Tanya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can of this watered-down garbage isn't any worse than that stuff at the bar, but I get it. Responsible driving. Speaking of which, I think it's about time we get going. Uh, ready, Olive? Yeah, sounds good. Oh, actually, mind if I borrow them for a bit? Just a couple minutes. Oh, okay. I turn to Millie, who returns the gesture in kind. Okay. Just don't take too long. I don't want to keep Haley waiting. Like I said, just a couple minutes. Now, shoo. Okay. With a couple flicks of her wrists, she urges Millie along, leaving me alone to whatever mysterious fate Tanya has in store for me. My hopes of learning what's on her mind are dashed as she stays entirely silent watching until Millie's out of eyesight as she disappears behind a row of cars. So. So. For what surely has to be the last time, Tanya turns around, sorting through her mess of a vehicle. Once more she returns, this time with a small box of frosted cookies, presenting them to me. Uh. Thank you? For Millie, oh. obviously. She's typically bad at accepting gifts, so I'm dumping them on you so she doesn't get the chance to return them. I see. It's a miracle she even took the can. I see. If you keep pawning off your groceries, you aren't gonna have anything left by the time you get home. I think I'll manage to survive the night without a box of snacks and a can of beer. Be sure? If you're sure. I'll make sure she gets them then. No. She'll need them a lot more than I do can't imagine having to actually live with the runt. What? What is... What is Tanya's deal? What the heck? What the heck? Hello? The animosity is still decidedly mutual, it looks like. The club's kind of miserable, but it's got to be better than her home life. That's not exactly how I'd have worded it. I thought your opinion of the club would have been at least a little higher than that. Only when Millie's in earshot. Oof. Jeez, that stings and it's only second hand. Hey, what's that look for? Just thinking about how Millie would feel hearing that, I guess. Yeah, that's so mean. That's like... I'm surprised. Like, I, I knew Tanya was pretty blunt and stuff, but some of these comments feel, like, actually mean. Like, it's it's past the point of bluntness to the... Blunt. Bluntness. To the point of, like... Is that what you really think? Like, is, is that what... Like, I'm, I'm a little taken aback, honestly. <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh, but... Why are you there in that case? Oh. Eh, 
Nothing super deep. Once the club was in Millie's hands and it started falling apart, she needed warm bodies to keep it afloat. She asked, so I agreed. Not the most complicated thing in the world. So if it was doing fine, you wouldn't be there. I think that much is quite clear. Yes, she would not be there if she didn't have to be. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, same to you though, right? Wouldn't have even given it a second glance if your situation wasn't the way it was. Mm. Mm. I have a hard time arguing that. Even now, it's hard for me to get super invested in it, but I like to think I'm trying, at least. All that matters is that I'm doing it as a friend, and that's all that should matter. Whether or not I actually care doesn't make a difference. Mm, I understand her reasoning, but I feel like it does kind of make a difference. It, it does make a little bit of a difference. We both stand there a moment, the conversation fizzling out with neither of us knowing how to end it properly. Tanya eventually breaks the ice with a stretch. Anyway, I'm gonna freeze to death if we keep chatting out here. I'm sure your girlfriend is starting to worry too. Take care on the roads. Ah. Yeah, exactly. You're right, but you shouldn't say it. Yeah, she she said the quiet part out loud. Like, <laughs> you're allowed to think that, but it's not the kind of thing you should be saying out loud. That's like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> ugh, exactly. It's, ugh. Yeah, same to you. With a nod, Tanya makes her way around the truck to the driver's seat. I start on my trek through the parking lot to meet back up with Millie and Haley, cookies in hand. Even if the intention is there, I can't help but feel like the gift is a little hollow now. Yeah, yeah me too. Few Few days later, right, are we back to skipping? Yes, we are skipping again. Let me have some more monster. We skip. I love I love seeing the, the flashes of the pink default text box as it's going. <laughs> I'm so happy. Blum, blum, blum. <laughs> Darren Path being first almost makes you forget the club is bad actually. Really? It does. Really? It's like I, I did Darren who's just like a lovely wonderful ray of sunshine who deserves the world. And now I'm moving on to Tanya, who doesn't care, and Heather, who has just been like an active antagonist. So I kind of did this to myself. I, <laughs> I kind of brought this upon myself. I'm not exactly thrilled to see Tanya right now, but with any luck, it'll just be a quick hello and goodbye without any fanfare. I clean up the kitchen quickly and shrug on my coat, checking the weather outside. It's pretty cold, but waiting for the trolley would probably take longer than just biking. Looks like... I, I wonder if this is the same as well. Looks like circumstance will make the decision for me this time. I head out, grab my bike, and make my way over to Tanya's. Okay, this bit's the same. Blam 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 blam! Blam blam blam. Uh, yeah, a couple individual lines added for flavor. Yeah, the, the, the little, the little flavor text lines. The confetti. Yeah, I always do like just the, the little tab test. It's like, if I'm not sure if I've already read something before, I like the fact that it's like, it won't skip text that's unread. So if I press skip and it doesn't skip, I know I haven't seen it before and I'm safe. But if I have, it'll just start skipping for me. Causes bugs! Causes bugs. Love that June bug. Yay, I get to see all this happening. I need I need more monster. I need to drink more. Mm. The pain of knowing exactly what this scene is and skipping through it and then, uh, uh. <sighs> Okay. Okay, here we go.
Winter's bite is particularly particularly vicious today. The heater in my apartment not doing much to combat it. I'm having trouble even turning on. It was a struggle to even get out from under the covers this morning, and... Well, that's about as far as I've gotten so far. It's telling how eager Millie was to head out on her errands run for the day, despite how early it is. The rest of my morning has consisted mainly of sitting on my couch with static from the TV in the background, arms crossed, fully bundled up in my coat and scarf. I keep telling myself at this point I should just go out and do something, but I'm terrified of opening the door and it somehow being worse than this. I keep checking my phone for anything from Millie to see if she'll be coming back soon, to no avail. Freezing cold aside, I'm hopeful getting out and about will help her at least a little. As I continue to debate with myself what my next move should be, it's decided for me by a handful of sharp knocks on the door. That's definitely not Mom or Millie, and I can't imagine who else it could possibly be. Yeah, I have no idea who this could be at all, this, this new scene. After talking to Tanya. Who, who is this? It takes a minute, but I, I eventually work up the willpower to open the door and face the cold. There we go. It barely needs to crack open before the person on the other side makes themselves known. Hi! Yo! Happy Holidays! Oh, shoot. Were you heading out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just cold. She was definitely near the bottom of the list of the people I expected to come barging in. I shake my head, digging myself a little deeper into my scarf in the process. <laughs> yeah, I think these characters aren't appreciating the fact they aren't melting right now. I, I would give anything to be freezing cold right now. I would... I would- I long for that. I want this cold. I want to have to bundle up. I want to be freezing. I- I much prefer being too cold to being too hot. I'm- 100% every time. Freeze me. Just freeze me. I- I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm just freezing to death. Hey, don't take this the wrong way. But how'd you get this address? Ah, uh, you know. Ah. Just asked Millie about it yesterday. Told her I wanted to drop off a late Christmas gift. I see. I see. Yeah, you can solve being cold by putting more clothes on or putting on a blanket. If it's too hot, you are simply out of luck. Yeah, it's like, I feel like if you're too cold, you can keep adding layers. You can just keep adding layers to an almost infinite amount. But there's only so many layers you can remove. It's... Like, if if you're just too warm, there's like, there's, it's so hard to cool down versus like warming up in my humble onion. <laughs> she shoves herself in. Normally I'd protest, but I'm just happy to be able to close the door and keep more of the cold out. Oh, just so I'm not a liar. Present. She digs into her pockets a bit, eventually managing to fish out a crumpled dollar bill and two cough drops, which she offers me. Oh, that's so generous. Wow, thank you. What a great Christmas gift. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, your extra aircon broke, so it's extra hot here too. I don't even have an aircon. We don't even have aircon here. I'm, I'm just dead. But also, hi you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm just a melted blob. All I have is like a tower fan. And tower fans don't really cool you down very well. They just kind of push the hot air around a bit more. It's pain so much pain but i'm surviving i'm making do it's 30 point 30.4 degrees in my room i think that's what it was earlier it hasn't gotten worse it hasn't gotten warmer so i will take that as a victory but yes 30.4 degrees celsius which is um big number in fahrenheit <laughs> but welcome happy yuri day we just got a dollar and two cough drops. I'm. I feel like I've. I've won the world. Ah, you shouldn't have. Don't spend it all in one place. Okay. Sure. So, I'm assuming you didn't show up just to clean out your pockets. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting to that. Okay. 
She eventually finds her seat, choosing to lean against the armrest of the couch as she faces me. Guess I'm stuck standing for the next little while. Club meeting was even more dour than usual. Hmm. Sure was. Uh, actually, you don't like to advertise, but you directed a Yuri MV I would enjoy. I mean, it, it is Yuri Day. It is gay cat stream. That is true. Hold on, let me... Let me enable links for a second. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Bum, 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 bum. I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost it. I've found it. If you want to link it, you are welcome to link it now. <laughs> I would be completely fine with you linking that. That is relevant to my interests. I, I, would, I would like to see that. I, I might not be able to watch it until later, but I would very much like for you to send the link. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just here like, here, here, Yuri Day, I give you the, the advertising permission. Take it. Take it. Oh. oh, yes, I definitely need to watch this afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, also, a uh, warning for Honkai Star Rail spoilers, if anyone's not like up to date in Star Rail. But I'm pretty sure the, the Honkai Star Rail Twitter posted its own spoilers. So it's, <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're not up to date, then... Uh-oh. But... Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you for linking that. <laughs> no, it's so funny when the latest gacha happened. It It, like... I've I've not been keeping up with Star Rail's story since like the last like big Danhang stuff in the, the the one plays. I'm really really behind, but I've been watching other people play through story. But uh, they posted something for the recent thing, and it was just like, well, if you haven't gotten to that reveal in the story, I guess you know now. <laughs> but uh, thank you for linking that. Happy Yuri Day. I love it. Right, back to Tanya time, my favorite. I wanted to get the rundown about how the holidays went from you since Millie's clammed up about it. Oh. I know you were there, as was the runt. You didn't snitch on me, did you? I really wish she would stop calling Caprice a runt. I, that is so rude. It's so rude, and I feel like every time... Every time she says it, I'm just like, hold on, where's the... There's like a specific emote of like the grumpy cat. I've forgotten what the grumpy cat is. I don't know where the grumpy cat is, but uh, that, that emote, that, that's me every time Caprice is referred to as a runt. It's just me pouting. I just pout. I'm just like, I'm actually, it's, it's uh, this expression. That's the expression I make when someone calls Caprice a runt. I'm like, <laughs> how dare you? There's no need for that. That's just rude. Stop it. Also, Zarok, hello. Thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Noom, thank you for stopping in. I'll have a big stretch. And a sip of my drink. And let's see how this conversation goes. Yay. There's that word again. It didn't really bother me much back when everyone was practically a stranger, but nowadays it's really starting to grate. Do you call her that around Millie? Caprice, I mean. I'm so glad Olive feels the same way. Right as I'm here, like, can, can Tanya stop that? That's really, really rude. Olive is the same. I'm so glad. Of course I do. The two are at each other's throats. It's a show of solidarity. No, it isn't. You don't know anything. You should probably stop. What's this about all of a sudden? Did the family get together make you turn heel that quick? Whether intentional or no, she's doing a decent job of pressing my buttons. It's a real struggle to not start raising my voice. I, I would have asked her to leave by now. Olive has way more self-restraint than I do. Okay, look. Caprice screwed up. Or maybe she didn't. I don't know. But even if what she did made things worse, the point is she was genuinely trying. They both were. What'd she do exactly? Doesn't matter. Either way, 
The point being that the names aren't helping as much as you think they are. I love Olive. What did we do to deserve Olive? We don't deserve Olive. Olive is too good. Tanya remains silent, eyes firmly focused on the floor beneath her. We'll be fine, eventually. They'd had plenty of scuffles. What's another piled on top? Uh... I don't know about that. This one felt different. Millie ended up storming out of the house afterwards. Was out all day and the day after, too. When I finally found her, she'd been drinking. A wince from Tanya. This one not really intentional on my part. That's probably my fault, huh? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Hmm? She allows herself a deep breath before continuing. I started this conversation sort of frustrated, but I really didn't mean to get her to a state like this. Those two started arguing before Millie was drinking age. Mm. I'd pass her a can every now and then when she went on one of her rants. A friendly enough gesture, right? Ah, uh, makes sense. Eventually, her birthday rolls around, and not long after, I take her out to my usual place after a particularly bad spat. She's flat on her face less than half an hour in. I see. I see. That'll... checks out so far in my personal experience. No biggie. I drive her home since I barely had anything at that point. The runt... Uh, Caprice... acts concerned. Helps her in. Thanks me for getting her home. The typical stuff you'd probably expect. All's well that ends well. Uh. And then it happened again after a bout with her folks. Caprice is a lot less understanding that time around. Yeah. Then a third, this time with a little scrape on Millie's knee from a small tumble she had. Nothing she wouldn't be able to walk off. And then Caprice is worried about Millie. Maybe has a go at Tanya like, how did you let her get into the state? Tanya pushes back, like, well, it's your fault. I see how it got this way. I fully see how this... I, I see how this happened. Ugh. Still, Caprice would have woken up their entire apartment complex uh. with how much she was screaming. Wouldn't surprise me if she did. Millie stays down to sleep, though, of course. Mm. Well, there's that mystery wrapped up. The fact that Millie never actually caught wind of why Caprice acts the way she does around Tanya shows an impressive amount of restraint from all the involved parties. Mmm. Yeah, it makes so much sense now. It acts concerned- well, in Tanya's view, she's only heard all these horrible things. She only hears- The only things she hears about Caprice are like when Millie is ranting. She doesn't hear about the good times, she only hears the bad, so she- doesn't have the other side of the story. It makes sense that she'd have this image of Caprice in her mind from what she's heard and what she's seen. But it's it's so it's so it's so such a wrong view. <laughs> she's got it so wrong. Why Tanya's the only person who Caprice has genuine beef with in the prologue? Yeah, it makes so much sense now. It's like ugh, everyone's misunderstanding everything because of course since then i've huh. just let her crash at my place when she goes too crazy easier to do that than deal with the yelling huh. yeah makes sense i don't know how to feel about all of this caprice's anger tanya's good intentions millie in general It'd be easy if there was a single element to point to as the source of everyone's woes, but it just doesn't exist, no matter how much I try and reach for one. Anyway, I guess it's about time to hit the road. Huh. Sorry for barging in. Don't let me keep you from your shivering. It's so interesting how many... how many different things we pick up from different perspectives, just from a single conversation learning so much now about like why people act the way they do it's so interesting oh thank you for the haiku redeem as well yuri day haiku it is yuri day let us celebrate women Woo! i sure love girls 
Thank you. That's my haiku. I worked very hard on it. It took me a very long time to come up. <laughs> Thank you for the routine. <laughs> Happy Yuri Day. Actually, I quite like that one. I, I genuinely like that one, actually. That's fun. It's a fun haiku. Woo! <laughs> she pushes herself up from the armrest, reaching up to pat me on the shoulder as she makes her way to the door. Oh, thank you for the posture check and hydrate as well, Sanyomita. Let me have a big stretch. I sit up straight and have a sip of my drink. Thank you, thank you. Hua. She pushes herself up from the armrest, reaching up to pat me on the shoulder as she makes her way to the door. Don't worry about it. Feel free to drop in whenever. Yay. Working things out. She gives a weak smile before closing the door behind her, leaving me alone once again. It's freezing, but maybe a short walk wouldn't be the worst thing in the world right now once Millie gets back. Assuming she'd still be up for it. Da -da -da -da. And now we skip again. Mr. Mo! Oh, I forgot I made a save file for something else as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just realized what scene that was. A few days later. Here we go. Ah, oh, okay. The clunk of the lock is the only noise in the hallway as Millie closes the writing club room for the final time. Heather didn't bother to show, and Darren ducked out after giving his condolences and saying his goodbyes. That leaves just the three of us. Well, that's that. Her delivery is as empty as the building we stand in. Sorry, Millie. Me too. Really thought it'd be able to limp along another semester at least. Uh. No, it's okay. It was the right decision. It was, I Thanks think. Thanks for it's... sticking around to see it off. It was definitely the right decision here for this route, but I'm, I'm, I'm already just here. Like, okay, a, a Darren end is true end. Thank you. An elongated sigh immediately betrays her words. So, what now? I'll just keep my head down and focus on my classes, mm. I guess. Not much else you can do with less than a semester left. I mean, there's an art club. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Also, yeah, Mr. Mo is the chonkiest cat. I love him. Tanya fidgets in place, trying to find a proper response to our defeated answers. Well, you know what they say. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Or whatever. How about we go out somewhere? My treat. Oh. You sure you can afford that out of the blue? Not like my day-to-day -day life is luxury living. <laughs> Splurging every once in a while is easy enough. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Tanya. I just appreciate you showing up. Oh. Come on, let me do this at least. Please. How can you say no to that? You've already done more than enough. Don't worry. Tanya's entire demeanor was off all day. She was unusually active during the meeting today, and even offered to help tidy up the room before it got locked up. It's becoming increasingly obvious why. I don't... <sighs> mm, kind of like it a little bit, don't you? Tanya scratches the back of her neck in frustration, searching her brain for anything to move the conversation forward. Eventually she finds them, but breaks eye contact with Millie in the process. Millie, I think I owe you an apology. Tanya, you really don't have to. Sorry, but she needs to hear this. Huh. Tanya steals her previously unsteady gaze upon Millie. I've been doing you dirty for a while, and honestly, the truth is... Uh... She takes a deep, soothing breath, then lets it out. 
<sighs> I really, really don't care about writing. We know. I love that she's saying it as though it's some huge revelation. I think everyone knows. Millie and I are both at a loss for words. All the build-up and stress. All for something so menial. Despite the long pause that followed her revelation, Millie and I never seize on the opportunity to respond. Not wanting to let the silence hang, Tanya continues instead. But Millie, I really, really care about you. No. Oh. The two of them stand there, staring at each other outside of our empty little club room. Tanya holds her gaze, fighting back the cracks in her voice. I don't think it's honest to call it menial. Not anymore. Not to her. I know. Millie doesn't move an inch, save for the new smile on her face. Even still, that's enough to send a shock to Tanya. Y y you We've been friends for years now, Tanya. It wasn't hard to tell your heart wasn't in it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of obvious. I should be apologizing to you. You shouldn't have needed to stay for my sake. Oh, I'm sorry. Millie deals the finishing blow with a hug. Tanya stands there, helpless, her arms raised awkwardly, unable to return the gesture. Uh, what? No, this isn't supposed to... The, the club is gone, Millie. Uh... Everything you worked so hard for, it... It... It's done. Yeah. Yeah, you should hate me for it. I could have done more. I could have cared harder. I could have... Been there for me? Stood up for my sake when oh. no one else would? Tanya, you did everything a good friend would. The rest of it wasn't on you. Oh, I love this. Just being there was enough. The mighty Tanya, always with her hard drinking and calloused hands, finally returns the hug. I'm sorry it ended this way. What can you do? Millie shrugs, letting the years of struggle she put into the club flow right down her back. Not because it doesn't hurt and won't continue to hurt, but so she can prove to her friend that she'll be okay, somehow. Tanya breaks from the hug to take a much-needed rest against the wall. God, that was corny. <laughs> oh, I'm whipped. I love Tanya. Oh, it's... I love getting to know these characters more. I, lo I love, like... Having so much more of a perspective through these. You're telling me. <laughs> I had to watch all of it. <laughs> oh, poor you. Oh, hush, you too. Pick a better time and place. Tanya cracks a smile that only I can see, then scrapes away any leftover signs of vulnerability from her face. Anyway, opera's still open. We should grab a bite to eat if you're feeling up to it. Yeah? Sounds good to me. So long as Millie's on board. Well, how am I supposed to refuse after that? You don't, ha. Huh? Then we'll throw a party that'll put the art clubs to shame. A final hurrah to celebrate all the good we managed to wring out of our little club while it lasted. Yes, I like that. A celebration. Not not a sad meeting because it's not a club anymore, but a happy one to remember the good times. Yes. Millie doesn't reply with anything other than a nod, but her smile is noticeably larger than before. I drive by this little diner now and then that's in a hollowed out trolley car. Uh, that seems like it'd be your kind of vibe, Millie. Um, 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 about, uh, about that, uh, and just as quickly as it, uh, just as quick as it arrived, my smile vanishes. Vito. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> no reason. I plead the fifth. As it turns out, the oh. diner in question happens to be one of my favorites. You have my vote. Millie! Millie, please! <laughs> Millie! Looks like you've been outnumbered. Hee <laughs> hee, best intentions help ease the guilt weighing Tanya down. Oh, I love that. 
We did it! Ugh. I'm so glad. I love Sneaky Millie so much. The little scheming face. With my head hung low in defeat, the three of us make our exit, the chatter amongst ourselves livelier than normal. <laughs> we did it. I wonder if that changes the credits. Or if uh, if Darren and Heather still end up writing clubbing. Up more? Oh no, uh, for some reason it stopped skipping, but it's, it's okay. It might have been because that's the point I saved at before, so it went a little wobbly in the remembering lines in the coding. <laughs> anyway, let's let this play out. And with that, I did the Tanya friendship. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the Heather one. So I think I'll probably leave that to start the next stream with. We'll start with uh, Heather. And then we'll move to... Then we'll do, like, the prologue again, but picking the opposite options to what I did the first time. And then we'll start Caprice. Haha. <laughs> I think that is the plan for now. Ah, uh, you originally wanted the credits to change dynamically, but it had to be rendered as a video file. Oh, that, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. And it's it's such a lovely credit sequence too. It's so lovely. Oh hey look, Tanya's been messaging me messaging constantly. That's good to hear. Tanya's been messaging yeah. me constantly to make sure I'm alright. I'm so glad. Seems like a Tanya thing to do. She played it off as best she could at the time, but she does care about Millie. It's good she has someone like that in her life. We'll have to meet up with her more often. Maybe even do an official send-off for the club. Yeah! She gives a quick nod to the idea. There's a certain wistfulness behind her smile, but with Tanya and I around, I know she'll be okay. Either way, that's the story of the writing club. The end. You and your bittersweet endings. Hey. What can I say? They're my favorite kind to write. Hey. Sorry if this is weird or- Okay, yeah, and then this is the same. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We're joining the club. Yep. Ah! We did it. As much as I love it, I am going to skip this time because we saw it. But yay! That's such a lovely little epilogue, too. I'm so happy. I did it. Yay! We befriended Tanya! Now it's just Heather left, which I'm sure is going to be a delight in every way. But it's also the one I'm most curious about. Like, I really want to know what Heather's deal is. I really want to know what's going on with Heather. I'm very, very curious. Right, where's the other save file I made? Is it... I think it's this one? You know that's not... At least I have Mr. Mo. I assure you his meow... Is it here? No. You... Those contact. Hmm. Thank you. I. I. You know that. At least I have. Is it that one? I don't know. Either way, let's let's go main menu and with that, I have now I've done Millie's route. We've done the Darren friendship path. We've done the Tanya friendship path, and next week we can start with Heather. <laughs> Oh, what an exciting time. What a wonderful time. We're going to start by um, trying to befriend Heather. Isn't that going to be so much fun? Isn't everyone excited? Aren't we going to have a great time? <laughs> but I'm really excited. I'm so glad I've done, I've done the one path. I finished the one path. And now we can start on the second one. I'm really, really excited for that. But uh, I think it's probably best to leave it here for now. Uh, my room's gone up to 30.5 Celsius. So I'm gonna end just, it's only like 15 minutes earlier than I usually end. So it's, I still almost lasted the whole time, <laughs> but I definitely need to cool down now. I am so warm. And, oh, I love this game so much though. I, I adore this game so much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, 
it's hard. But it's so good, it's so worth it. Yeah, the, the Heather Path, woo. We're gonna have a, a great time. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be wonderful and everyone's gonna get along so well. You know, like, this is just gonna be the best. Are we excited? Who's excited? <laughs> All right, anyway, with that, let me loop. Let's head on over to here and I can find a raid target. Let's see who's around. Let's see who is online to raid. I wonder if there's any... If there are any Yuri streams happening. <laughs> Anyone playing a Yuri game for Yuri Day? Let's have a little look. Who's online? Ah, oh, there's quite a few people online that I know. Hmm. What if I look in the Yuri tag on Twitch, if, if anyone is there? It's just me. It's just me in this tag. Okay, I am, I'm the only stream live in the Yuri tag right now. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. It was worth a shot. But I, I loved it so much. Oh, Rika, I'm so glad you've still been here. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. It's been such an incredible experience. I'm, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, and Caps, thank you for being here too. I'm always so happy you're able to make it to my, my streams. <laughs> Even with me rambling on and taking forever to play the actual game. I, I love it. I love this game so much. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for being here with me as I play this. It's, it's just, it's such an incredible experience. And I, I really, I really am so excited to see it from Caprice's side as well. I really, I want the other side of this page. I've read the one side. I want to turn it over now. I need to finish it. I gotta, I gotta finish it. Uh, there's a pink haired cat girl playing this Yuri game called Twofold. Oh, I think she's about to end though, sadly. I don't think I can raid her. Right, who's around? Who shall I raid? Bum, 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 bum. Wait, actually, actually, I know. I know what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the ro the 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 the, 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 the. Let me try that again. I'm gonna send the raid over to Luna, Loon Moon, because it's Luna's birthday. So let's head over to the the Lunaversary Donothon and go wish Luna a happy birthday. I'm gonna I'm gonna send the raid to Luna. <laughs> I was just like, hold on, special events? Hold on a second, I'll, I'll send the raid this way. But yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me. Here's the raid message. If you're subbed, we'll use the comfy and do the twofold Tuesday Leary raid. If not, we will send hearts and I will send you over Luna's way. Please send all of the love from me. I'm gonna have to turn my computer off because it is so warm. But this is, I, I love this game so much. I love everything about it so much. I'm so excited for next week. I'm so excited for more next week. And hopefully it won't be as hot then and I will have at least a semblance of a break. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today on Yuri Day. The best way to spend it. I, I could not have spent it playing a, a better game, I think. It's been so much fun. But yes, time for me to attempt to cool down. I'm gonna get ice cream. 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 Okay, I'm excited now. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.